So these are little, this is like, I'm just failing at this, there we go. <laughs> so these are diagrams that are actually showing you how all of these things fit together. So you can see like, I know it's not ideal, but you can see how there's little knobs that fit in. Yeah, like so her neck has a little piece on it to slot into her. So it's body. kind of like a step-by-step -step guide. Try to get up to the top, you can see all the... So, I mean, in terms of what's being done to kind of make this an approachable hobby game, I think there's a lot of potential too and a lot going on there. And this really speaks to, games are kind of going in two directions, I feel like, mm -hmm. right now. Some are kind of pulling back to the roots and really trying to make that the, you know, the, the kind of the stake in the industry. And then some people are pushing harder into like digital and, you know, efficiency and that kind of stuff. It's a conversation that we've been having. Uh, and so I kind of like, there's a piece of me that really loves the idea of these like old school physical hobby games, even though I can't bring myself to paint them yet. I like them in theory, Zach. <laughs> in theory. There's Red Skull. How about that? Sold in the Rubik's Cube there. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's the, yeah, a Rubik's Cube. Actually, someone should paint it like that. I hope someone does it. He's like, ah, I did it. I completed the cube. <laughs> um, but I think, I think the recognition of, you were saying about the digital and, and whatnot with a hobby like this is like basically leaning into the hobby because that's the point of this, right? Yeah, that's don't, the don't point try to take of, it out. A miniatures game. Just, that's what I do like. There have been a lot of miniatures games that, like the Power Rangers game that we uh, were been looking at and been playing. Here's the grid. Those are pre-assembled. Mm -hmm. So that's very helpful because assembly is my least favorite part of the hobby. Uh, but like I assembled my Legion stuff and that was not complicated. Like that yeah. was way easier than the stuff we were doing like Arena Rex or back in the day. Um, so I, it's like making the thing you're trying to do easier but not replacing it with like just not existing. Red Skull looks great. Are the models hard plastic or PVC like Legion? I think they're, they're plastic, they're not uh, spruce. They're yeah, not they, spruce. they said something, they said plastic. <laughs> they definitely said plastic. They're actually, they're pretty light. I mean, they're, you can tell yep. my Even muscles are not activating <laughs> here. Okay. Not active muscles. <laughs> okay, let's uh, go. Paul saying, as a Legion player, one of the main challenges is through our playtime. Would you say this game is quicker? Absolutely. It's um, going to be quicker for us because we're on this little two by two cruiser. Not even here. Well, I think it's one point five. <laughs> Here's Ultron. This is the kind of the star of the show for me. I, really hard to argue with this. Yeah, he's cool. He's. Do you see this? Looks like the largest model in the core set. According to you. Should have got my hands ready for the modeling today. I didn't realize. I hope my hand hygiene is appropriate. <laughs> I find my nails like, a lot. I think that's what you're supposed to do, most right? Most high fidelity <laughs> images of your hands ever. <laughs> Look at that. Ultron. Ultron's great. Yeah, he's everybody. cool. Everybody. Ultron looks good. Okay. Good pose. Yep. Looking good. Now we get to the heroes. I feel like I'm, t I'm maybe spinning this too much and kind of adding. Did also, I do the villains, actually? I didn't you, you, realize You literally that. just did all the villains all right. and none of the heroes. Um, also, if, if you're watching right now, so our plan with this particular video, we're going to be streaming all day, uh, Crisis Protocol, and we're going to be going from very basic to more full games. But I think our first thing after we go through all these models is going to be picking a couple models each and just beating each other up. Yeah, and let's no just objectives, work, no through the, uh, work through the, the fundiest of the game here. Okay, there's Black Widow. Kind of the crossbones of the heroes, honestly. As far as modeling is concerned, just like she's just gonna brawl somebody. Yep. Definitely the like, <laughs> if you look at the different colors going on with all the heroes, it's like the only one that's just like. Just flat. Yep. I like it though. Black. That's the whole idea, yeah. Black, Black Widow. She needs a little spot of red somewhere, right? Like a true Black Widow, the spider. Mm. Yeah. I think a little hourglass. Yeah, belt in, the, in the comics she has. Is that her belt buckle? Yeah. Is it, it really? Is. Let me see that. Yeah, there's a little bit of red on there. Huh. I'd like it to be a little bit more like ah, yeah. red. A little more prominent. You familiar with that hue? Ah. Red. <laughs> <laughs> Spider Man's next. Do 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 do. He's cool. So this this is actually one of the harder models to do. Have you seen the Maz Morales version they had at Gen Con? There's like a, you know the little like uh, newspaper dispensers that they'll have on the side of the road? Like yeah, the old ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's like got his hand on it with his legs like flying out, you know? He's like hopping over it. That's pretty cool. I feel like a little parkour the, the difficulty of doing a Spider-Man model is that he's so in motion. Mm -hmm. Like that's his thing. 
Uh, so to do that on something that fits on a base and isn't just like insane to have on a board is actually pretty difficult. And they, they did a pretty good job here. It's a good, it's a good pose. Yeah, he's like got his feet stuck on that, uh, whatever you call that, metal thing. Metal thing? I'm, Girder? I'm not technical. No, that's like a, there's a word for it. You know the word? Beam? Beam? Here it is. <laughs> Seems like a simple enough word. Why couldn't I say it? <laughs> Spider-Man looks good. Yep. I want to see if I can kind of suspend mine from the air somehow. So we're fighting on like a desert map, and then it's like, why is he have a piece yeah. of metal? Like... Yep. But that's the classic miniatures game gamble that you take. I think it's fine. Captain Marvel, here we go. <laughs> Look at Captain Marvel. She's cool. She's actually a, uh, I didn't realize, um, she's a favorite. A lot of people love Captain Marvel. Yep. Well, I think if you only watch the movie, there was a mixed review on the movie, even from the people that love Captain Marvel in general in terms of how good and engaging it was. But the com comic fans are huge, huge fans of Captain Marvel. This is also, I would say, one of the more dynamic models in the set. She's got like the, uh, whatever those, that fabric is, kind of waving in the wind as she's flying. Looks good. <clears throat> Next really good. I like all these bases, too. Are these yeah. are these special? Those or are standard. They come like that. Yep, that's really nice. Um, so the they're doing terrain sets and mats, mm -hmm. and from what I know, they're basically exploring different. Like the first one's very urban New York City style terrain. You see all the bases are kind of like New York vibes of mm -hmm. concrete and stuff, and then I assume as they hit other uh, elements, they'll also be putting out bases where you can put you know your heroes on. Yeah, Anything in you space want. or wherever you need yeah. to put them. In space. <laughs> I like space bases. That'd be pretty easy. Chris, for asking if we painted these, we did not. Uh, Atomic Mass was kind enough to, to get them painted before they sent them our way. Uh, so, no, we did not paint these. But if it makes you feel better, whoever did probably took them about 30 minutes. <laughs> I don't yes. know if that makes you feel better or worse. Well, it's just like they're probably just very proficient at it. Yeah, it would have taken painting. me seven years to paint these models. Yeah. <clears throat> Or to find somebody to do it again. Who's next? Iron Man. Man, I, in all of this uh, card art, and we'll we'll pull this up while we're playing. Everybody is. Oh, it's because I'm on the injured side. <laughs> <laughs> They're all beat up. Why? Why is this art like this? All right, you got Iron Man in it. I believe I'm. Oh, look at you, Zach, taking the initiative on the just get in there. Yeah, I figure it's only fair. He's. This is the classic pose, right? He's just pointing at you, looking good, doing his thing. Pointing at you. <clears throat> Look at, look at this. Would you look at it? Would you look at that? Just look at it. Just give you a little... And it's important... 360. It, just to, again, reiterate, like, the point of a miniatures game. I really, over the past five years, learned that way more than I ever thought I could possibly understand. To win at all costs? That's right. That's exactly why we play miniatures games. Now, we grew up playing card games. So, uh, miniatures, we started with Monster Apocalypse back in 2010. It was pre-painted, pre-assembled. So it was all about playing the game, obviously. Um, and then when we opened the store in 2012 in Tulsa, it started to understand the hobby element yeah, of this. Yeah, a lot this. more. But like even now, just taking this much time to just like look at the models, it's like this is 95% of a miniatures game is building beautiful things and watching them in action. So uh, I dig it. These models look great. Here comes Captain America. Also a great looking model, honestly. Shield is loud and proud on this one, as it must be. It's your favorite uh, favorite hero there. That's right. Old Look at Steve. that. I mean, this shield is... It's what you see. It's good. And yeah. that's what and you should be seeing. <clears throat> Things I like about this as well, maybe it's just because I'm particular to Cap. It's like you if you, wanna yeah, put if you flip him around, people. I don't know if you can see the underside of his shield with the straps and like the inside of his shield looking like the inside of his shield. That kind of stuff I, I really dig. And then also like on his head, he has his little uh, wings. Which are, yeah, so he's the old school. Are really good. He's he's medium because the, the oldest school he's got the. I actually have a model that was the night models not made models quite for a while. Age or silver age or. He has the like feathering, in like his like most traditional sense. This yeah, is, I like this the is feathers. like leaning more modern into the movies as well. But like, he it's a even in the movies, cap. yeah, yeah, he's like a two thousands cap, which is a good cap. The weirdest thing so far about this entire Crisis Protocol experience, I read this entire rule book um, a couple of times this weekend. And Thank goodness. 
the layout at the very end where they're given the hero uh, stories is the strangest thing to me. Huh. You see? They got the... Just like a couple paragraphs like, wait, here. Wait, no. Captain oh. Marvel here. Black Widow here. Spider-Man here. <laughs> that <laughs> is like, really interesting. Huh. Um, so also worth noting, I saw people posting about this asking that, questions so. over the weekend. <laughs> so so all, the 10 models we just shown are in the core set. Um, and the core set also comes with terrain, which I, I want to show some of that really quick. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, wait, well, yeah, no, we're, we're some terrain. Stay yeah, there. Yeah. I'm going to show some terrain. Yeah. Um, so it comes with a couple cars, which are both uh, the same style car, and these have been painted in like red and blue. I'm just assuming the you can also roll these into a Gaslands campaign if you want, according to yep. price. <laughs> or you could uh, play some Walking Dead with them. So it comes with a couple cars. It also comes with, I think, two buildings technically. We only have one here, which is the Daily Bugle. Um, and this is nice. It's got like the details here. Can you see it in the shot? Yeah. I get you. Daily Bugle. Uh, it's got like the papers there. It's got a door on the side and windows on the back. It's got like a vent on the top. Um, definitely nice. a, a well, well, well thought about model. Uh, it's a great building. Model. Um, now, does it have the, uh, yeah. Yep. So you see here too, uh, I don't know if you can see, there's a little number imprinted right here. It's the number three. And that's really important because every, every piece of terrain has a size. And so instead of it being true line of sight, which is where you like literally see if your model could see this other thing, um, and scale and stuff, everything kind of tells you how big it is, which just lets you have a system for understanding how to interact with stuff. Um, so like that's a that's a three you said, and then it also comes with these little garbage cans, or dumpsters better yet. <laughs> uh, and these are a two, so they're a, a scale down. And that basically is relevant for, can a model pick it up? Can they throw it? What happens when they get slammed into it? Um, and then it also comes with uh, basically uh, stoplights and street lights, which are cool. To kind of set the scene again, the first the first setting for this is urban, um, and so the the first map they're putting out, I think there's a couple, are yeah, they're great, like New York vibed, and so you get this kind of like back alley on the streets fighting uh, hero v villain vibe, brawling. All right, is that it? So I'm gonna put these I back. I think that's everything that you need to see for the core set. Uh, oh, also the uh, yeah, we should show, show the templates. So we got these. Uh, James, one of the great. Uh, folks here at our local <coughs> store painted up these templates for us. These also these typically come in like a gray plastic, um, but they are cut out where like you can see the cutouts here. And this is like a looks like a Wolverine theme, which is gorgeous. Um, but he painted these for us, so f props to James for getting these. We've only had them for a couple days, and he slammed these out to make them look great, and they do look great. It takes a village to make a stream, you know. That's right. All right, so there's two. Here's the. Uh, These are like the range, range three distances. range ruler. Yeah, so we're not gonna. So there's no tape measures in in this game like a lot of miniature games. I think pretty much kind of everybody is starting to figure that one out. Yeah. There's four. That dad. Mmm. Fantastic four. Yeah, looking good. And I, this is my favorite. Definitely my favorite. So it's like rainbow going into g galaxy, which just looks. This is, it looks like it, it could easily be like the Iron Man blast or something like that, but I, I love the direction that was taken with this. Boom. Props and then how about the uh, movement templates? Let's yep. get these guys in there. So you basically have a small, medium, and large movement uh, template going on. Uh, all right, here's all of these. Which is how fast the models are this gonna move. very cool, it's got Hulk jumping there. Um, and then these can also... Yep, these are very similar to the Legion it style is. movements. Now one thing that's really, really cool um, on that note, just give you a little... So these, these hit perfect 90s, and so if you're ever like moving something away, you have a way to very easily say anything within this space is moving away from something. Yeah. It's just a lot cleaner than like a lot of the weird gymnastics we had to do with other games where it's like, ah, I think that's a way. Yeah, Nathan commented on the rainbow. It is the Bifrost. Uh, rainbow Bridge Bifrost. All right, well, let's pull it out here, Zach. Let's pick a couple of models and start punching each other. All right. What do you think? I want to I wanna see the basics of these rules function. And so this first thing, we're, we're not doing scenarios. We're not doing objectives. And the whole game is objectives and scenarios. But we're just going to be covering... <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, Steven. Ah, great. You picked your first two models, which are Crossbones and Baron Zemo. Crossbones. And Baron then, Zemo. of course, I will go ahead and just do exactly what you would expect me to do. Captain and Iron Man? Spider-Man. Oh, Spider -Man. Okay. You, you took to Spider-Man now after um, well, Champions. Spider-Man was one of my favorites as a kid because of the cartoon. 
like the 90s Spider-Man cartoon we used to watch a lot. Mm -hmm. Captain America didn't really have a cartoon until the Avengers started coming out. Then Spider-Man, the movies came out in the 2000s and stuff. Um, but then in the like uh, Avengers-style stuff, Captain and Iron Man are the main characters, so of course people love them. It's that easy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... Spider-Man a building. <clears throat> we're going to get this shot set up nicely, and then I want to go over one of these the, cards. Uh, do you have the bag of tokens? Yeah. Somewhere? Um, I think they're right there. They're underneath that... Uh, Wait, maybe, here's the box. Are they in here? Otherwise, we'll have to use custom. Uh, I'll punch them. Start punching. And give me them dice. Start punching. Here's the box. You guys into boxes here? They, people like boxes. It's, about, it's a good box. It's about the size of about two heads. Two of my heads. And this is a lot of tokens. Just Looks good. This. Looks good on the back here. You got all sorts of... Here's some scenes. Get excited. Get excited. It'd be easy to, to sell this off the shelf, honestly. If you're a store owner, you're looking at this. It's like, you're going to get yeah. somebody to buy it on this one. Could could do that. That's why it's it, it's something to note about that core set. So it comes with 10 models, included, <laughs> of which includes Iron Man, Captain America, and Spider-Man, and Black Widow, and Captain Marvel. Uh, and it's got the big ones. The the what you get in that box of the terrain and stuff and the dice and the measuring templates, it, I feel like it's just such a crazy good deal. I, I think I bought the Captain America Night Model model a while back and it was thirty bucks a model. Woof. <laughs> yeah, forty k. It's similar. Like you're paying twenty thirty bucks uh, a model. Forty k. You're paying hundred bucks for like. One hundred twenty for a spark. Yeah. <laughs> so like, it's pretty crazy. I don't know what all these tokens do. I'm just punching them. There's a, a obscene amount of tokens. It really is in this. crazy. Who knows? It's kind of exciting. I like that we're punching on stream. In a sign of true preparedness. No, we're just given the full unboxing experience, which is something that we're doing more of these days. One way to position that. <laughs> <laughs> I work uh, in marketing. Chat asking, what's the MSRP? So MSRP is 99, uh, but like on our website, we're... At eighty percent, so twenty percent off. I think it's. Uh, let's pull it up. Do some quick. quick math on that, can't you? <laughs> well, there's like weird decimals. It's ninety nine ninety five MSRP. So on our side, it's seventy nine ninety six for the core set. <laughs> and everybody's gonna have it that generally online at least. Okay. Don't. I'll handle these. What, what, read, read whatever you want to talk about a card and stuff. I'll just keep yeah. punching. Yeah, uh, Bryce, can you pull up? Uh, let's pull up Crossbones. Um, if we can get that pulled the up there, card. I'm gonna I'm gonna run down the uh, the stats, the stats, the general kind of understanding of of things. You punched. Oh, uh, you, you have a lot. I punched it all. Yeah. You have larger tokens on here. So I was like, how punched. how did you make that happen so quickly? <laughs> Are we clear? All right. So we got crossbones. We're looking at Brock Rumlow. Very cool card. Um, if you just look at the little symbology going on uh, the top, basically starting in the top right, right under the character's name, we have the little um, heart rate monitor symbol. So that's going to be their stamina. That's the maximum amount of damage they can take uh, before they're dazed or knocked out. And the way this works is if they're healthy, if they lose all of their stamina, then they become dazed and they basically freeze for the turn, and then they will turn to their injured side and it will happen again. Um, so crossbones is there. Then we have... Speed is the next one, so the one right to the right of it. Speed is S, which means uh, short, so you're going to use the short uh, movement template whenever you move uh, this character. Then you have uh, the one right next to it to the right is the size, so that's the physical size. No matter what the base is, no matter how big the base is or how big the model is, refer to this for the size. So this is a size of two um, on crossbones. Then we have... Uh, Let's see, three is the threat level. You to determine which characters can be taken in a squad for a given mission. So we've got that there. And uh, then we've got the fun stuff. Physical defense, energy defense, and mystic defense are at the bottom row there. So uh, those are your defensive dice that you'll roll against attacks of that type. Does that all make sense? Everybody, everybody clear on that? Yeah, can we also, someone was asking if we can show these a little bigger. You want to switch to this camera and I'll show the card just so people can get a context for what these look like. Um, these, these cards are nicer than they were at the demo table, too. Definitely. They turned out a lot better. <clears throat> you want to see these, boys? Does this help? 
we'll get a focus on that. So compared to my hand, I mean, you know, what are these? Uh, like five by eights? That's not a real Four thing. Four by six? Four by six, yeah. Like postcard size? So you can mail this to your friends? That's hilarious. I'm going to buy 12 core sets <laughs> just so I have postcards. <laughs> Do we need? Do we need to make these bigger on the screen, like, on the actual screen? Okay, we're maxed out. All right, so here's crossbones. I just want people to get an idea of what that looks like. Boom. Yeah, so it's it's nice. It's actually. I was a little worried. I, I think the ones on the demo were bigger, and they were not nearly as nice. So these are a welcome, a welcome uh, relief Change here. Or upgrade. Yeah, and so then you have on these cards, you have a list of all of the abilities. Um, and most of the time, from what I've seen, you have a couple of basic abilities up top that are kind of your like bread and butter. Like for instance, Crossbones has Strike, Baron Zemo has Sword Strike. Um, so you know it's like yeah, your your basic, basic stuff. You've got a Strike punch. over there in Spider Man, a Strike on Captain America. So Baron Zemo's Strike is probably a little bit better because you got a sword. That makes a little bit of expect. sense. Uh, the the greatest superpower of all is a sharp weapon. Then you have, uh, underneath there, you kind of have a secondary, I think, easy power. You know, like overpower on crossbones and steel rush on Baron Zemo. Some kind of like physical skill. So yeah, so these are like, you know, this is kind of the, the pace of the model. And then under that, you have essentially kind of their super, super stuff, their super powers. And that allows you to do all sorts, it kind of defines the character a little bit more, I'd say. Um, and you have like reactive ones, so things that happen whenever something uh, is done to this model that can react in a certain way with a superpower. You have a straight up like use an action, do something. So Crossbones has this Haymaker, for instance, uh, which is incredibly fun. Yeah. Uh, and that's a four power attack, so it's just like a super punch, basically. <laughs> the which, Haymaker. Uh, I love. And then you see the little, uh, if there's a little infinity symbol, which you'll see sometimes, that means that it's an ongoing superpower. So aggressive is crossbones, and it says after an attack targeting this character's resolve, if this character suffered damage, it may advance a short movement toward the attacker. Um, so crossbones always getting revved up and angry and coming at you. Does that all make sense, Zach? Does that make sense to you? It is, but you know the way I learn bestest is uh, <laughs> getting my hands dirty. That's why rules are bad for me. All right. Um, so I I would like to just dive in, make some mistakes, learn. Can we get one more? I want to show this on the on the close up. Um, I don't. This is really handy. This is about as good as it's been. Hold on, let me center this. This is my problem. <laughs> Looking at the okay, good. Um, so this is the back of the manual, and it gives you the entire phase reference, including to the two commonly mistaken rules, which I can tell were the case because they were spelled out every single time it appeared in the manual. You do not blow up criticals except in the initial roll. It's the only time criticals you blow don't them up. create criticals. Yes, uh, and then uh, it's got all of the phases really nicely laid out in the attack sequence. The attack sequence in this game is very. Um, it's a it's a fifteen step process, which we will outline one step at a time. And I will make Zach do it correctly. Okay, <sighs> so let's start it off. Um, one of us is going to be the first player, and we're going to have initiative or priority. Um, Lord help us if we can figure out what token that is. It's going to be this one for it's now. That one. I mean, it's, that's the token. Is it's this hu it? It's huge. It's the one of token. It's big. Is it big? Bigger than these guys? Yeah. Well, I guess it is. It's, it's, it's kind it's of hog size. A whole token. <clears throat> All right. So I will go first. Okay. And we're going to start. There's three phases in the game. There's a power phase, then an activation phase where the scrum happens, and then the cleanup phase. Okay. Um, so if you think of it like at the very beginning of the turn, everybody powers up, mm -hmm. and then sometimes there will be abilities that happen during that time. Mm. And then we'll go back and forth. During the activation phase. Mm -hmm. And then after all the activations happen, we clean up. Then we clean it up. All right, so what happens in the power Let's phase? Let's start with the power phase. Each character gains one power. Is it this? Uh, it is now, yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> these green tokens. Yeah, I'm going to need probably some of these boys and some of these. They each gain one? Everybody gains one. Here's yeah. some threes. Which you'll okay, never thanks. Um, you here's some threes of these two. So power is the basic resource of the game, um, and we're going to spend it to do all of our superpowers, our basic attacks, all of that. Here off of the all of that stuff is is what we're going to be using power for. Uh, so then we have the activation phase. I'm sorry. On the power phase, any player effects during the power phase, starting with priority. So I might look over my card. I'm especially going to be looking for infinite superpower abilities like passives, that might say at the start of the. Um, 
you know, activation phase or in the activation phase or in the power phase. I have none of this. Check it all out. <clears throat> so I've looked at my card. I see that none of my stuff is talking about that, so I'm going to move on. And then we would resolve any effects of crisis cards that happen during the power phase. The player with priority chooses the order. So in a standard game, the crisis card uh, thing is really important. Um, it's basically setting up the mission and scenario and kind of what we're fighting for, what's on the line. Uh, in this case, we're not using that, so we're just going to ignore the crisis cards for now. Then we go to the activation phase, and the first thing that we do is resolve any effects that happen at the start of the activation phase, starting with priority. Uh, so I don't have anything that starts the activation, do I you? I do not either. Right. I assume some objectives will have stuff to say about that. Yeah. So then we alternate turns until there are no more characters that can activate. Now here's the deal. During a turn, the player either activates a character or passes. So you can pass in the game. A player who activates a character may make actions, use superpowers, and interact with objectives with that character. And that is two actions that we get for every activation. And I just read this in the manual the second time around. I caught the line that's important. You know how miniatures game work? Where it's like you read it 20 times, and then all of a sudden you go back and you're like, ah. ah. So you can only pass if you have, what is it, less characters than your opponent? It, it prevents a, the back and forthy. If you have less characters that haven't that activated. That haven't activated, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can pass the party, <laughs> but we can't pass back C4 or C forever and play this game. Because that would not, you that's know. Not so how someone has, has to go in, <laughs> inevitably. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, so we're going to take turns. I'm going to start with Crossbones. Well, you mentioned on the rulebook, too, it's worth pointing out that that rulebook is like 23, 24 pages. It's, it's pretty well done. And there's in that rulebook is the like how to put the models together mm -hmm. stuff. So this is not, if you're used to basically miniatures game, this is one, a skirmish game. Obviously, each player only potentially even has five or six models on the table. But the rules themselves, it's not like a 200-page hardback rulebook. We've moved away from that as a miniatures game because that's just another... Beyond the assembly and the painting and stuff for a miniatures game, that's typically a huge barrier of entry. That was one of the things that ultimately we made it through a lot of hurdles for Infinity. Yeah, we did. And then we get, I love the world of Infinity yeah, so much. And we and the painted idea and we Infinity. assembled and we bought all the terrain and we ha got to that stage and then it, we tried to play. And then it was like, oh my gosh, this is like a, this is insane. Um, it was and it was fun. fun. I mean, it was in, fun. In a way, it's fun to discover like how a game works in six years. A hundred percent. But <laughs> there's, you know, when when there's a lot of games coming out that you can play and learn in twenty minutes, it's like it makes it hard to to make that your choice. I'm gonna start with Thol. Um, I'm gonna start with Crossbones. Okay. All right. So we're just gonna get in here. I, I feel so like. So what happens when you're activating? So can you, you can take me, you, can, me down? you can take two actions. Um, so the actions you can take is an advance. Okay. Or you can take a climb. Now, if you take a climb, it's always just a short template, and okay. it means you can go at buildings. All right. Now, if you're a climber, like I believe... He's um, a wall crawler. That means that you can take an activation to move, and you can go up buildings without even yeah, thinking Which about makes it. sense. So right. Spider-Man should be able to go over buildings without Absolutely. a problem. Absolutely. Uh, you can also attack, which is just using an attack listed on your stat card. So okay. anything there. Um, you can also do a superpower, which is using any active superpower that requires an action. You'll see the little cross, uh, it's like a little cross thing in the symbol, these, these boys. Yep. That Lovely. just means it's an action, so you have to spend an action to do that. Or you can shake, uh, which is when we just start the party. Um, All right. But what it actually is, is you get rid of a special condition. <laughs> I was like, I don't, I don't think party starting is the <laughs> actual thing, Taylor Swift but... joke for you. Um, remove one special condition, so sometimes that's your bleeding or something, so you can shake and move or shake and attack, you know, that kind of stuff. Cool. So you, I presume, are going to move? First action, I will take a move. And he's got the short movement. <clears throat> short movement, I see that in his card here. It says S next to the little arrows. S for so, short. So S for short it makes a lot of sense. Um, so I'm just going to slot this in here, and I'm just going to move up. Crossbone style. And it's important, so this could rotate any direction you wanted it to, mm -hmm. right? And yeah. then also, uh, from the demo, I seem to remember, you could put him anywhere that template could touch. Yes. So, like, you don't have to go the full distance. You could have gone half or whatever, as long as it's where that could reach. Here, here's my question about that, Zach. I, I was going to... So, is this legal? Here's my question. I think it is. So, let's say I touch here. Can I do this? It's touching the template. I think so. I think so. I mean, I literally, I, I, uh, I read it a couple of times, and there's nothing that tells me that it couldn't. Because, like, technically, in that same position, you could be doing this. I think that's the mm -hmm. same. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, totally. Okay, that's that, that same spot. That does make like, sense. It technically could reach right there. Again, and you know what? The cool part about this game to me is that, like, the whole vibe from everything I've seen, it's like, it's not, tr it's trying to uncomplicate the entire miniatures game playing process. There's not a measuring tape, there's sizes, there's all this stuff. So, like, just, I don't care. 
Yeah, yeah, right. It's like, yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, can he get there? It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Totally. Yeah. And I, I even would be like more prone to be like, hey, if you were like this close to being able to do your superpower move, I'd rather see it than like. You're saying we were trying to tell a good story here? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's a novel idea. All right, so now um, I'm looking at my attacks. I have a two range attack, which is a strike, and a three range overpower. <clears throat> so I'm just going to measure it out here and see if I'm even close. And I'm not. So you know what? I'm just going to keep the. Pain coming. What's up? It seems like we have some uh, atomic masters watching. Oh, good, good, good. Uh, Tell Will, us everything. Will Pag Pagini, Pagani, Pagani. That's how you say it. Uh, active super superpowers only require an action if their text has the word action in front of it. Right on. So be aware of those. And I guess. Oh, oh no! One of mine doesn't. Awesome. So the next striker <laughs> overpower made by this character adds three dice. Cool. So you can make your strikes into haymakers. I get it. Yeah. You. So like I have web line, which costs <clears> two. Uh, of the, uh, what is these called? Energy. Energy. Uh, push an enemy character within four uh, toward this character, uh, small. A character can be pushed by a superpower only once per turn, but it doesn't say action. Great. So that's a superpower. He can just pull you in. Infinite webs. No, no action. Uh, I love it. All right, so I've taken my two. Actually, I took a move and then a move. Um, so that's the end of that turn, and then Zach is going to pass over to you. So you can. Uh, okay, so you did your two actions. Now I'm going to come <clears throat> punch you. Let's do it. Crossbones, I feel like, just wants to be in the fray. So uh, let's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go with Spider-Man, pr primarily, so that Zemo probably has someone that he can. Yeah, hit. just kind of so, get up there and start chopping. All right. So Spider-Man, unlike uh, old old Crossbones, he has the long movement. Ooh. Uh, so he's a mover and shaker, and he's obviously up on top of this building. Um, and if you look, I'll just show this for for context. And are we? You can show this. The, the difference between a long and a short movement mm -hmm. is about double. It's about double, yeah. Right on the money. All right, so Spider-Man, the two things I can do, uh, what, what all can I do on my activation? You can take two actions. All you right. can move. Uh, in your case, I think you'll always be advancing because you don't need to take a climb because you're a web crawler yep. or a wall crawler. Um, you can take an attack. You can take a superpower. Um, and then you can shake. Remove one special And do you condition. know, is this kind of game where you can measure oh, yeah. at any point? Well, at least for us, it, I, I, it's that I'm just getting the context for like how big a four range. Because his, <clears throat> his two, um, I believe. So strike, this, this is the range, right? This first thing? Yeah. This first second. Yep. So he's got, Spider-Man strike is a two range. His impact weapon is a four. Can they, Brad, can everybody see the card right now? Is it like on the screen? No. Spider-Man. Is it too small? You can pull them up anyway. Because I want to I wanna go over it. Let's just look at the, if that's the case, then let's go ahead. Are you up? OK, so you see on some of these abilities, um, Spider-Man, for instance, you may have to like zoom in and really make your screen big. Well, I can just put Spider-Man's <clears throat> card out there if it's but easier. There's three symbols next to every one of these attacks. And these three symbols tell you three things. Uh, one is the range of the attack. The other one is the uh, essentially the power of the attack, and then one is the energy of the attack. Yep. So from left, left to right, those are the symbols that are showing you. So as an example, Spider-Man's impact webbing, uh, four range, four dice, zero energy for me to use. So um, let's go ahead and move with Spidey. He's got a long movement. And can you attack twice in the same? Round? Yeah. Yeah, you take so two attacks. Here's yeah. what I'm going to do. I um, think. I mean, I say that with great... Certainty, but... Great certainty and hesitation. Yeah. Uh, so he's going to move over here, and again, I'm just going to kind of get it close because he's hopping down off a building. That's literally in the rules. You can just hover the template if you can't. And just figure it out. Yeah. Because yeah. it, it... Well, let's just have a good time. Impact webbing. Uh, so it's four range, and I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to see. Yeah. Let's, let's get Zemo. I'm already pointed at you. Uh, so four range, you're in range of my impact webbing. It costs me zero power and energy is what that's called, not power. Mm -hmm. uh, and it has four dice, so I have four dice. So we're doing an attack? We're doing an attack. It's a big First deal. First attack of the game. All right, here we go. Okay, so we're going to choose an attack, which you've done. You declare a target. Have you done that? Uh, I am Baron declaring Zemo? a target, Baron Zemo. All right, you're going to pay any power cost that you zero have. Zero power no cost. No power cost. You're going to create your attack dice pool. Four. All right, then we're going to create the defense dice pool. What kind of attack is impact webs? How? Oh, it's, it's a, a physical. Fist. Physical. Okay, so I have a three physical defense. So here is my defensive dice pool. Okay. <clears throat> now you're going to roll the attack dice. All right, I got a blank. I got an exclamation point, an exclamation point, and what looks like a regular hit. Are the exclamations the criticals? They are criticals. So we're going to not even... Uh, Mess with that. So we're going to roll the defense. So there we go. It's two blanks and a crit. Now resolve criticals. 
So for every critical that you have, roll an additional die into your so pool. So two criticals. I will roll two more dice. I got Boom. A, a whirlpool and a hit. And then I roll one critical. I got a block there, so that's good. Uh, then we modify our own dice. Do you have any dice to modify? Now pay special attention. I do have an ability that matters for this. So um, see if you have anything that would flip. I think a lot of times these are going to live in the infinite superpower zone. I do not. Okay. So I've got one that I'm a strategic genius, in Sounds case you did cool. not know. This character and allied characters within two range may reroll one die in their attack or defense rolls. Seems like one of those blanks would be a good candidate. Ah, blank to blank. And then uh, modify opposing dice. Do you have anything that messes with my dice? Nope. And I don't have anything that messes with your dice, as far as I understand it. Now we calculate success or failure. How many uh, successes? One, two, so criticals, wilds, and hits count as successes. On attack and defense? On everything, yep. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. What is this symbol? The that's the wild. Mm. So sometimes you'll have abilities. I do have a wild that... off this attack. Okay, that's good. So we'll trigger that in a second. Uh, and then I have a wild and a block. So I have two successes, which means the attack is successful. You have okay. more than I do. So now at this point, anything that triggers off a successful attack would happen. You have anything that says when this attack is successful, do X, or if this attack <clears throat> is successful, do Y. Nope, I have after attack resolutions, though. Beautiful. Uh, then we will resolve the effects, any effects before damage. These are not after the attack effects. These are before damage effects. Any of those? I do not have any before damage effects. Why, thank you. Uh, then we will apply the damage. So you have five, okay. and I have two. So five minus two is three. So I'm going to take a big three damage okay. out of five. So just has five health. keep that in mind. Wow. And then I also get three power because I took three damage. So you get power equal to your damage being taken. Every single time. Which is cool. I mean, time. basically, it, that's the best, one of the best comeback, come from behind mechanics imaginable. The more I beat you up, the more powerful you get. And now we go to the attack is resolved, and then we resolve effects after the attack. Okay. After this attack is resolved, my character gains a power. And that's because you or, rolled that wild? That's just period. Ah. After this is resolved, I gain one. Beautiful. Uh, and then the wild, so it has a little wild symbol, and it says push. If the target is size two or less, which I assume you're size two or less on your little uh, size meter yep, mm -hmm. two, uh, I can push you away a small maneuver. All right, dude, let's do the, let's do the official push away system, which I really like. Okay. So give me the... Uh, you want to use a non use the small? Guy, yeah. Yep. Actually, let's use the L, because we'll just show it. All right. So you're basically squaring this up towards where Spider-Man mm -hmm. is, is that right? Yeah, boomerang. And then this goes opposite, mm -hmm. is that right? Yeah. And, and this would basically away or towards. Yeah, you're so you can, you can go anywhere in this range. Oh, really? Yeah. That's awesome. That's, That's all really considered handy. away. Yeah. That's really handy. Yeah. That's the way I read it in the in the. So I'll thing. just uh, you know, push him back over here. Okay. And then he's pushed. Baron, no. All right. So, that, so moving man, attack. five health is not much. That's it. You did your uh, you did your thing. All right, Spidey went. Now it's time for the, the Baron. I'm, getting, I'm about to get Baron back in the shot, Bryce. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah, I figured he was going to come in. For All some right, heat. Baron's going to move. Let's do a long move because you know he's also fast, eh? I'm gonna I'm gonna be a strategic genius yep. here. What's I'm, his What's the range on his attack? You know. So the range for his little strategic genius thing is two. So I kind of want to get him next to crossbones. Oh, he has an ability called that. I thought you were just trying to act like you were being smart. And then he's got a range three attack here. So yeah, so that's going to be perfect. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use my my strategic. And if if you're newish to miniature games, obviously the positional element of this game is half the battle. So being able to attack and then have within range of your strategic genius makes a lot of sense. Okay, now let me look at a couple of options that I have on Baron Zemo's card. So I've got a sword strike I can make, and that's within two, so I cannot sword strike Spider-Man. Makes sense. I've got a, a thing called Steel Rush, which is three, so Spider-Man is in range of that. Uh, that's a six damage attack, or wow. a six dice attack, and after it's resolved, I may advance a medium space. That's cool. And then it has a wild of bleed. After this attack is resolved, the target character gains the bleed special condition. You cut him. So I can cut uh, Spider-Man up. Now the other thing I've got here that's relevant is uh, I've got a charge for two. 
So that's an action. This character immediately makes a move action followed by an attack. You can use that once per turn. So I can technically charge up and mm. attack Spider-Man here. Makes sense. I've also got a counter strike. After an attack against this character is resolved, I can use it to roll dice against you. So I could have used that last turn if I had had two power. Um, and I guess I would have because I would have taken that power when I took that damage. So that's, that's fascinating. And then I've got Master Swordsman. While I'm the target of a physical attack or I target a character with a physical attack, which I would be doing here, I may use this superpower. If the enemy character is within two, this character may reroll any number of its attack or defense dice. Hmm. Um, so you're not within two. So I'm not going to activate that. I'm probably just going to save, uh, save my power a little bit and activate Steel Rush. Okay. So it is within range three. It's going to cost me two power. <coughs> so we're going to run down the uh, sequence, choose an attack, declare a target. It's going to be Spider-Man. Pay right. the power cost. Three becomes a one. Um, then we're going to create the attack dice pool, and that is six dice. It's a lot. I create my defense pool. Create your defense pool. It is a physical attack. Three. All right. Uh, then we roll attack dice. And so basically, the physical attack is noted here with the fist next to the attack. Yes. And then I have a defense for each type of attack. That's right. Which is a three. Got yeah. it. That seems okay. All right. So we've got a couple. What's so the skull mean? The skull means it's dead. It cannot be rerolled. It cannot be manipulated. Stuck. You have it's like failed. A critical failure. You're done. The anti crit. Yeah. You are done. Uh, okay, I've rolled mine. We'll go ahead and roll yours up here. All right, so I'm rolling three. Looks like a two, two wilds. Two wilds, nice. Uh, then we resolve criticals. So I have one critical showing, so I'm just going to actually re-roll this uh, skull boy. Technically, that's not... I have another one. It, but go ahead. Uh, and so basically, the concept there is that when you roll a crit, it, it explodes yes. into another dice. Yes. It's so technically, I'm bringing another dice in <clears throat> and rolling it. But in that case, you I got another skull. skull. So. Um, and so I didn't get any criticals. Right but on. I do have an ability, Spider Sense, with Peter what Tingle. Does it say? Uh, when this character is defending against physical or is the yellow the energy attack? This one. Yellow is energy, I think. Yeah. Um, energy attack or making a dodge roll, it may reroll two of its defense or dodge dice. So okay. I'm just going to reroll these two. Uh, yes, that is. There's a step for that. Okay, we'll get to that. You tell me where are we at? <laughs> uh, resolve criticals, modify our own dice. Now we're on that step. You're right there. Um, I don't think I have anything to modify here. Oh, I do. Uh, one die in their attack or defense rolls. So I can't re-roll this. I can't re-roll that, and I can't re-roll my re-roll. So, so I actually have nothing to re-roll. Yeah. It's amazing. Um, so go ahead. All you. Re-roll two. Spidey. Come on, Spidey. Blanks. Oh, into nothing. Ugh. I like that. Uh, then we modify opposing dice. Do you want to screw with my dice at all? I don't have anything to do that with. with me. I don't have anything. You don't have anything. Then we calculate success or failure. That is a successful attack. Four versus one. Yep. Uh, then we resolve any effects that happen before damage. If I had had um, a bleed wild, I could have done that later on in the turn, but I don't. Uh, so I don't have anything to do there, do you? I do not. Then we resolve the damage. Okay, so, so I take, take four. four. Spider-Man so only has five. Three successes. And, <clears throat> yeah, Baron Zemo Spider-Man is a nice... So I'll um, take four. And do I gain four energy from that? You're going to only, only take three because the wild counts. The wild counts as a block. Uh, as a success. Yep. Okay, so I take three and I gain three energy from that. Mm -hmm. So I get punched and then I'm going to go crazy when he goes next. That's the idea. Uh, then the attack is resolved and we resolve effects that happen after the attack. So I have, after it's resolved, I may advance a medium... Move. Oh, nice. You're going to come gang up on Cap? I'm ganging up on Cap. I had Cap. a feeling you were just going to come try to knock him out and remove my joy. And I want to That's cool. Make Cap's sure ready I for stay it. within two. That looks like it's within two. Uh, my plan is Cap's been activated. A, Cap's about to party. Do you have any effects that resolve after the attack? Um, I do have any? not. I feel like he's kind of got all sorts of weird tricks, so we got to be careful to make sure we... He doesn't. He's good. Okay. I good. mean, he does have some tricks, but that's not it. All right. Successful activation on uh, Baron Zemo, and that's my last one. Technically, I think we take a... Um, there's like a, I've activated this character this turn token somewhere. Probably the check mark. Yeah, a check mark. I thought that was a big L. <laughs> <laughs> let's, just, let's go check mark. <laughs> that's funny. All right. That might not be the right token, but here we go. I'm giving you a, an L as well. Check oh, mark. on the on the actual model. That makes a more yeah, sense. Yeah, so like, we can see uh, it on the board. So okay. Cap, Cap's now staring down a, 
uh, All right. melee. And Baron's almost knocked out, right? And, and then they flip to the other side. They get their damage. So side. they flip to the other side, and then at the start of the thing, I'm gonna fl I'll be on my injured side, and then I'll continue as usual. Yeah. Well, I like the idea of just. And can I attack twice? Yeah. Really? Absolutely. Can I use Why the same you? attack twice? I I think so, unless it says once per turn. It says, uh, yeah, attack. Use an attack listed on your stat card. You almost got in uh, punching range here. That would have been real good for me. My strategic genius kept me just outside. Yep, I, I understand. Do I get anything for knocking out Baron Zemo? Or for knocking him to his injured side? Let's find out. Let's find out. I feel so, like on the podcast, you normally ask me a lot of questions. And then now as the rules person, I get to return the favor. He'll be, he will become dazed. Okay, so... When a character has damage tokens equal to its stamina stat, it has been dazed or knocked out. Dazed is what happens when it's healthy. Knocked I out want is to do that. Um, if it's healthy, place a dazed token on it. A character with a dazed token can't move or be moved for any reason and can't be targeted by attacks or be affected by special rules or superpowers. So I'm basically invisible for all intents and purposes. We can't make attacks or play team tactic cards, etc. Um, dazed characters cannot activate during the activation phase. If the character's stat card has the injured side up, the character's been KO'd, remove it from the battlefield. All right. So the funny thing is, like, it might be in your best interest. Priority is going to pass to you next turn. So if you knock Baron out before he activates, he doesn't get an activation that turn. That's going to be a good turn for me. That would be a good in turn. In a little yeah. two, two model. I think that'd be a good turn. Here. Yeah. <laughs> now, really, ideal would be if I could knock them both out before they went. The next turn, I just get free reign. That would be incredible. <laughs> you, I mean, you do you. Yeah, but when we come back up around to the next phase on the cleanup, like I'm gonna get to, to become normal again. So I would rather <clears throat> knock you out next round. That's what I would do. All right. Well, it's captain time. Let's go with Captain America. He's gonna move first off, and he's gonna move over here. So that Zemo's gonna have to do some work. Yeah. Captain Zemo. <laughs> All right. Uh, then he's going to. Strike. After this is resolved, I gain energy equal to the damage dealt. Um, it's five dice attack at range two, which I'm clearly in range two of the Baron. Um, and if I get a wild card, a wild card, a wild, uh, I can push you size two away before the damage is dealt. So let's uh, let's strike. All right. So you're gonna strike. Let's run it down. Choose an attack. You've done it. Declare a target. You've done it. Pay the power cost. No power cost. All right. Create the attack dice pool. Got it. Create the defense dice. Well, it's a physical attack. This is physical. How about a big old four defense from my friend Crossbones here? It, it, he should have some solid defense. Roll him up. You ready for this? Mm. All right. Perfect. Swooshed. <laughs> How about... Oh, man, we just traded dice. Now, your hits don't block. Hits don't block. But blocks the, don't hit. Does the critical... Critical Explodes discount. into another die for you? Mm-hmm. So we're going to resolve critical, so we'll throw another one in here. How about that? Now this critical, Zach, it does not explode. It doesn't create another it critical. Does not it stops it the never channel. does. Uh, modify our own dice. So do you have anything? Uh, technically, I have priorities, so I technically go first, I think. Because you're the first player? Yeah, modify my own dice. I don't have, I do. The character may re-roll one within, because uh, I'm within two of my strategic mm. genius baron. Great. Nothing. Nothing into nothing. <clears throat> what about you? I have nothing. No, I, uh, let me look. After the, no, it's after. After. I have all afters, and I didn't roll any wilds. Great. So you just punted this one. Yeah. Calculate success or failure. Failure. Fail. Big fail. Then resolve any effects after the attack. Um, I have aggressive. After an attacking character is resolved, uh, if this character suffered damage, it may advance. Well, it didn't. It did not. My plan is going so, uh, to. So, Cap gets the check mark. That's right. <laughs> Uh, a thrilling debut for Captain America. <laughs> Whoosh. <laughs> Swing and a miss. All right, and so now everybody's got the check marks, so we do the cleanup phase. We would score victory points from crisis cards, and we mark those on the mission tracker. That's this boy. <laughs> See this thing? Travis Millennium says, not very super, Zach. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't hey, Travis super. Travis is going to order a few copies of this game, I heard. I will... It is going to be super, the coffee that I'm enjoying. <laughs> Resolve player effects that occur during the cleanup phase. Um, do you have any cleanup effects? You may as well check that out. Each turn, nope. End of turn, nope, nope, nope. None. Just like a Professor X ability or something. We would resolve effects from crisis cards, uh, which is not uh, important to us right now. This is when characters with a daze token would remove all damage. 
all special conditions and the day's token flip to injured and then they're ready for the next turn. So days flips you to injured. So yeah, so healthy, losing all of your health, you become dazed and then during the cleanup phase you become injured and then you can go Got again it. in the next okay. turn. Um, if the player who activated the last character during the activation phase has the priority token, they pass it to their opponent. Is that true? Wait, say that again? That's not true. Read, 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 if, read me the rules. If the player who activated the last character during the activation phase, which was you, has the priority token, they pass it to their opponent. That'll never be the case. It basically prevents me from taking two actions in a row. Right. So I think I still get it. No, I don't. No, you don't get it. So it just stays like this forever. That's interesting. All right. All right, well, uh, we'll follow the rules. Remove all activated tokens from characters. Get those I got check it. marks out of here. And then move the round token to the next round on the mission tracker and begin a new round, starting with the power phase. Okay. So let's go ahead and track it. So we've got, we're now in round two. Technically, we go to round six. And it's over. And that's when the game's over. Really? Yeah. What's the other, what's the one through like 16 for? So this is for like victory points, I think, something uh, we can track our crisis Interesting. points. We'll do that in the more advanced version of the, the game. All right, power phase. You ready? Yeah, we each gain a power. gains one. And then resolve any player effects during the power phase. We know we don't have any of those, so let's move on to the activation phase. So now the question becomes... you got to go Baron. Because I'm going to... I. I only didn't knock him out because I was lied to about the rules. <laughs> That's See, not true. You said, you said I was going to be the first player this round. Oh, yeah, I, I did say that. Yeah. I did fully believe that. Yeah, I'll otherwise I would have thrown my shield at, at him <laughs> before I attacked crossbones. It's cool. We're just here for a good time. We're just telling a good story. Just telling a good yeah. story here. Cap wanted to go get over next to Spidey. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to... Yeah, get Spidey in there. Yeah, let's... Yeah, you're right. Baron's got to get in there. Um, first of all, let me just see if I've got the old Steel Rush. I do. Will, Will says characters can be dazed or KO'd, uh, or you can be outnumbered for priority to change. Oh, right on. So, like, if you were dazed or something, I think you have less active models than me, and it, it affects that stuff. Well, yeah, because I, I would lose an activation, so then it would pass over to you, and that's fascinating. Yeah. So the tempo would, would swing. Would switch because of that. Huh. Also, apparently there are cards that let you take multiple activations. Oh, so right like you can go with a couple characters at once, and it would change who had the last character going. They, they're smart. Yes. Yeah, this, this is, is a, again. This, this is, is a thinking. This is a thinking. System. This is we're playing minus objectives and scenario, and we're also playing minus uh, crisis cards. Is that what they're called? Tactic cards. Mm -hmm. Like the point of the game. Yes. Yeah. We're playing without the point of the game. All right. So I've got a sword strike. Let Let's play with some. I'll play with some options here. I don't have enough power to do it. Is the thing. So I'm just gonna do the classic. Steel Rush. Man, Spider-Man is ready. He's sitting over here at five power, by the way. And he's about to be on top of that building. I'll tell you that. First action, attack. We're going to use the Steel Rush uh, ability. It's a six dice. Is this attack. a physical attack? It's a physical attack. You know it. Nothing but swords over here. Um, no, I'm just going to take this one in the teeth. All right, so I've chosen my attack to clear the target. I paid the power cost of two. And I make my pool. Create your defense pool against a physical attack. Four. I've got my offensive dice pool. Then we're going to roll attack dice. Hit me with it. Mm. 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 Blanks and skulls. Mm. That's going to be great. Someone's podcast is going to be that. Blanks and skulls. Uh, Rebecca asking if we're going to play with the objective crisis on this stream. So we're going to be doing a lot of streams all day for the next several hours. And we will get to the point where we're playing a full on. Uh, Everything going stream. Everything going stream. Everything going. Objectives right. and uh, tactic cards, for sure. And team building. OK. Um, that's me. So I roll my four? Yep. All right. You got what? One hit. And I got mm. a skull, a critical, a hit, mm. and a wild. So I'm going to go ahead. Resolve criticals. The skull's dead. So I'm going to reroll this one as you my critical. Might as well just make it the critical, yeah. yeah. Mm. A hit, so no blockies. No blockies. So you got, a, you got there's a wild count? Two successes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right there. Now I have. So a critical counts as a block. Critical counts as anything. Critical counts critical as a block. And a wild and an also counts as a block. Yes. But yeah. only the, the shields count for defense as shields, and they're blanks on attack. And then the hits on defense are also blank because you need the shields. Right on. Okay. Yeah. That's the way I read it, at least. Um, so I'm going to re roll a die. Because I'm a strategic genius. Real one die in their attack. <laughs> I like that you keep pointing that out. 
And yet somehow keep blinking. Complete failure. Uh, so any modifications that need to happen probably won't matter. Calculate success We're good or at this failure. Game. Failure is happening. Uh, resolve effects, etc., and then it's all done. And that was the emo. That was your first action. You could do another action, right? Now, we do have an ability on Steer Rush. It says, after this attack is resolved, the very last step, this character may advance medium. Doesn't even say if it's got to be successful. Okay. So I'm going to do you, that. You going into the fray or out of I'm the fray? I'm going into the fray. Yep. Because that was only my first action. It's a little too close for comfort with that sword. <laughs> <laughs> Unhand me. <laughs> All right. So that's my first action. Um, my second action is going to be a sword strike. All right. As the only thing, everything I have costs two power. Mm. So I've only got one. So sword strike costs zero. Um, it's range of two, which I think I've well got that. And then a dice pool of five. So declare the target and then build your physical defensive pool. Back to four, would. yep. And then let's roll them. I was hoping you would actually do some damage so I gain some power. Okay, so we've got two hits. What about you? Looks like one crit. One crit, so. Let's blow these crits up. All right. Got mm. Another crit. It's not going to blow. Does not explode. Does I'll not explode. Reroll my blank with this crit to add a die, and I got a hit. All right, good. So I basically only have one defense here. One defense. So now we resolve criticals we've done. We modify our own dice. I still have priority, so I'm going to modify a reroll, which I'm not because I've got everything I need, and I can't reroll these skulls, which is a real bummer. Yeah, Very you need some blanks. So actually. aggravating. Uh, then you modify your dice. You got anything? I do not. And then I can modify your dice, you can modify my dice, and then we calculate success or failure. I have three to your one. Yep. So I think that is a successful attack. Um, then we do any effects before damage? I nope. have none. Let's apply it. Two damage. So I take two, and I also gain two. You gain two power. Power. And then I'm going to put this little check mark next to the, the Baron. We have done that, and then I have one thing left. After okay. this attack is resolved, it gains power equal to the damage just dealt. Nice. So you gain so two I'm power. So I'm going to go up to three. And now I'm going to knock you out. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to knock you out. Uh, let me. That's all, right. all fine. You gave me the check mark. Ding. So it's my turn. Yeah. I. Before Cap gets damaged more, let's go with Cap. So I'm going to. Ooh, the shield slam is crazy. Isn't that amazing? You know, I was thinking about. It. I've watched a lot of, a lot of videos in general for a tabletop, but then a lot of. I was going to say well. in general. I was like, all right, cool. That the phrase "I'm going to" with like a, a light pause after it, we say it all of the time. In, in every every video I've watched, not just us, but everybody is like, that's just the nature of how you play. It's like, all right, I'm going to. And then you stare at it for a while, and then you're like, okay, now I'm going to do this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to think for a moment about my options. Hmm. Gap in the fray here. Can he do a sweet old ricochet here? He can shield throw. So I ignore line of sight, and the defending character doesn't benefit from cover. If I get a wild, I can ricochet the shield off of that character into another character I within mean, range is three. Is this not the just perfect shield throw moment? Well, I could also just put Baron Zemo down with a uh, shield slam. Tell me what Justice would do. Well, I think I'll try a shield throw first. So, Because that might put Baron down, too. Yeah, we're going to start with a shield throw into Baron, which is a physical attack of four, so I'll build my dice pool of four. You pay that power? It does not cost power to shield oh throw. Oh, my gosh. And then I'll create my defensive pool. Baron Zemo has a three physical defense. All right, so then I roll my four. Am I following the order of this operation? Yeah, let me, let me make sure I don't have anything... This character to me is a superpower. Is he going to be character then two? This character really near me. Ooh, yeah. I'm totally doing that. When it is the target. So to clear a target, modify your own dice. Yeah, great. Um, yeah, everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'm going to act like it's normal. <laughs> uh, blank, blank, or blank skull, skull, crit. I'm going to go ahead. I don't do the crit yet. You do yours. Ooh, One got block. a block. So I'm going to roll in another die because I got a crit. Mm, got, got a wild. wild. Oh, yeah, That's here comes killer. the ricochet. Um, okay, and then I've got uh, character and ally character within two may reroll one die in their attack or defense rolls. All right, looking for a wild or a, a shieldy. Are you modifying your dice at all? Nope. All right. Mmm, ah. <laughs> got that shield, though. Uh, great. Okay, uh, then do you want to modify my dice at all? 
Nope. I mean, I do, but I, I can't. <laughs> I don't have the choice. <laughs> Calculate success or failure. Here's the question. Is a tie a success or not? Hmm. Let's it cannot be a success. I don't feel successful when I'm tying. No, because you wouldn't do any damage, but maybe just for the, the sake of uh, conditions. Okay. Attacks. Uh, Man, after our first two attacks where we both just like did a bunch of damage, I feel like this is just like... If the attacker's total is greater than the defender's, the target character suffers damage. Um, if the defender's total is greater, the targeted character suffers no damage, but could still suffer. Greater than or equal to. All right, so we're going to say uh, no? I'm going to say no. I don't think it's successful, right? And if we're wrong, we will be corrected It soon. doesn't explicitly say it. Uh, if the attacker's total is greater, yeah. So we're going to say it can't be successful if you're not doing anything with it, right? Okay. But I did get a wild. So it's going to ricochet, and I get to do a shield throw against crossbones. What's that wild say? Uh, ricochet, after this attack is resolved, this character may make an additional shield throw attack. This attack must target another character within three, which he's clearly within three, of the original target, and maybe any distance from this character. This additional attack does not have the ricochet special rule. Oh, uh, that's so, so cool. So like, ricochet. if he was here and here, you I could, could bounce it hard off. ricochet. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, because, and his range is only a four on this. So technically, right, it's like if your character was here, he could ricochet it off into mm -hmm. someone over here, which is That's just really cool. Really cool. Little sniper. Uh, all right, so I'll roll four again. Let's hope for some better luck. That looks better. That's much better. Three hits and a blank. All right, we got one block. I'll use Baron's ability to get a wild. Okay. And it's not going to do anything for me, but uh, that'll does be. Does a wild not count as a block? It does count, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> So it looks like I have three tier two. You did it. So it's a successful attack. I'll take, take one damage. That way I'll power you up. Isn't that great? <laughs> so then with my second action with Cap, I'm going to go ahead and use two energy and do a shield slam. So mm. the shield slam is six, range of two, which you're within two. It costs me two energy, which I've done. Uh, if the target character is size two or less after this attack is resolved, I may throw them two, or a small, small uh, template. Give me a... Uh... Give me a moment to just back up here and, and blow your mind here. All right. There's this ability called Counter Strike. It says, after an attack against this character is resolved, it may use this superpower. Who is this, Baron? This is Baron. If the attacker is within three, roll four dice, deal one damage for each crit and wild rolled. So you could attack me back. I'm doing it. Which you, you're doing. <laughs> we're, we're doing it. Yep. <laughs> we're really doing it, Harry. <laughs> Completely... So this is just four straight fine. up. So from Baron to Cap. And do I get a... One damage. Do I get to do anything about that? Nothing. Uh, so I just take one on that's Cap. That's it. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, that's what great. What a cool ability. Yeah. <laughs> let, let me, you, let me you blow better, your mind. You better believe I'm going to do it again, too, all right. unless I get I'm about to knock you out. <laughs> uh, all right, so Shield Slam. I'm coming in for the heat here. Rolling six. Let's go, Cap. It's time to put on the heat. Nothing but blinks. <laughs> oh, sweet. A hit and a wild. And that's it. All right. <clears throat> How many health you got left? One? I need you to just, come on, hit me with a whiff. All right. But, but hold on a second. Master but Swordsman. Uh, when this character is the target of a physical attack, uh, this character may use this superpower. If the enemy character is then two, I may reroll any number of its attack or defense dice. Minus the skulls. Minus the skulls. So let's pay two power for that. All right, he's spending the power. Let's see if the Master Swordsman can deflect your shield slam. Because I technically have what, two? Mm. Got a wild, so you have one. I think you're going to get me. But I do one. You're going to do one, all right. So what happens here? Do you know the process? Baron Zemo becomes dazed. Give me like a dazed looking token. This looks dazed. That, right? that is exactly dazed. Definitely dazed. I'll put one here and I'll put one on my card too to remind me. All right, so let's just I'll make sure you. we understand the rules. Not yet. Not yet. So they get dazed and then they'll flip later on. In the so they're dazed for now, and then during the cleanup phase, they'll flip to injured. So this is basically like he exits the story for a moment. Like he's just gone. Um, all right, it has been dazed. If the character's side card has a healthy side, place the dazed token on it. We just did that. Uh, we, I can't move. I can't use anything. I'm out of the action. And then I'll turn to the injured side during the cleanup phase. Okay. All right, so let's just... Um... <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's taking a rest. <laughs> <laughs> Closing his eyes for a minute. Get that green check mark on Cap, would you? Yep. Because now it's hammering time. 
old crossbones? Yeah. We'll see about that. All right, uh, crossbones, here we go. So Cap has two health left, just short words, two stamina, so to speak, before he's knocked out. You're about to be. I'm not gonna let you do it. Range two, strike, he's got the longest fists in the west. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, wow. Um, hmm. Hmm. Oh my gosh, that's too good. But I, I'm kind of waiting for the haymaker, so if I can get to, yeah. I'm gonna do and that. Didn't, didn't I do a damage to crossbones? Did you? With my shield ricochet? You did. And did you get an energy from that? No, but that's exciting. Does that help you get to <laughs> yeah. your uh, big old maneuver? <laughs> I may have taken it on Baron, which I kind of like just the same. Um, all right, so there's crossbones with his damage. That, that actually makes that a little easier. Let's start with a strike. You're not gonna be able to hit Cap. He's got a shield, man. I've got secrets. Yeah, let's start with a strike. All right, here we go. It's a five physical attack. All right. Pretty straight up. pay for any of this? I've seen, this is zero power. So I've seen most of these strikes are basically basic attacks that gain you energy when you do damage with them. Yep. So these are like the power up. Is it called strike? Attack. It's called strike. I also have strike. Yeah, most people do, and then Baron has sword strike. Yeah, So that makes sense. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Technically, I could pay two energy, and I could add two defense dice. What does it say? My shield. When do you do that? Labor shield. When this character is targeted by a physical or energy attack, it may use a superpower. Add two dice to this character's defense roll against this attack. How big is your your haymaker? This is just going to be a five attack. The haymaker, if I would activate it, would add three dice. And you do that when? That is whenever I do a strike or an overpower. So what I'm trying to do is gain at least one energy so that my next strike is a haymaker. And it costs four. And it costs four. Yeah. So I need to do one damage to have enough power. And if you don't, you can't do it. I'll just do a basic, like, overpower mm. instead. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and pay now. Yeah. I'm going to add two with my shield, because I don't want you to get that power. You got it. It's fair. Yeah, you All should right. block I'm that out. I'm adding two. All right, so I have a five. What's your defense? Five? Six. It's it's four, typically, but I added two. So, you're, so we're, we're going to swap yeah. some dices? Yeah. Roll those skulls. Okay. So there's two. Now, I don't get to use any of Baron Zemo's stuff. Because he's days. Um, after an attack, turning this kid. Okay, so none of that matters. So I'm just going to sit on two, and I'll pass you uh, one of the. I'll pass right, you my okay. blank. So I get to roll six. Ugh. Don't block it. Oh, yeah. Two blocks. That's blocked. Particularly. That's blocked. Exactly what I needed. All right, do we have any modification business? I have no, no business. Do we have any after attack business? Nope. Okay. I'm going to make you do this the hard way. No haymakers <laughs> here. All right, so that's the first attack. Second attack may be even cooler. So it's going to be an overpower. So we're going to pay two. Um, we're going to choose the attack as overpower. We're going to declare a target, which is Captain America. Then we're going to pay the power cost. Oh, you know what? What's up? So I should have had... Oh, this is convenient. No, look. <laughs> We've had two rounds, right? So he gets two power from that. Yeah. And then he got hit for three. Mm -hmm. And then I just spent two. That's some fuzzy math. They were just saying on the stream that I didn't gain power when I got hit. Okay. Which That's I think fair. is correct. I believe that. All right. Then. That way I can shield up again. Yeah, so we're, you are going to shield up again. This is a six die attack called Steel Rush. Now check this out. This is super cool. Not Steel Rush, Overpower. After it's resolved, place this character, so place uh, Crossbones within one of the target. So I get to kind of come up and yeah. overpower you. And then if I roll a wild, it's a throw. If the target character is size two or less, before damage is dealt, I may throw it a small movement. Okay. You're gonna throw me into a building? If I if I get a if the all right. The so thing. when I get target, I'll go ahead and pay two, and we'll shield up. You're shielded. <clears throat> Here's the magic. Well, that, I wow. can't complain. I wanted the wild, but I can't complain about four. Here's your die. Do you need that? No, I don't. I need it technically. All right. So you got four. My odds are low here of not getting at least hit. Well, they're better than I thought. Three. It's three successes. So yep. do you have any modifications that matter? I do not. All right, and I don't either. So let's go ahead and calculate success, which we've done. Resolve effects before damage. That's when I would do the um, the throw. Okay. But I don't have the wild. Oh, bummer. Yeah. I wanted to see it happen. I know, and then we do one damage. So take one and one energy. So... By the way, that is one away from him being knocked mm -hmm. out. That was a close call. And then after it's resolved, I place within one of the target. 
So um, I, I want to stay away from this building. So I'm actually going to stay. Uh, where's the one? Oh, it's the this little boy. It's always this. Um, and it's not even a maybe. It's a necessary. Ding. Just oh, the si so someone's Side's commenting on the thickness of these rulers, uh, and effectively, I just you doing that made me realize the thickness is equal to a one range. It's always one. So there's not a one range template. That makes sense. Smart. <laughs> it's brains. By the way, MJ says good luck, and then he says ops is slacking. Where's the wine? <laughs> Two p.m. Two p.m. is wine time. All right, crossbones done. All right. And so it's pretty cool. So I knock out Baron Zemo, and I can't just dogpile on him because he hasn't flipped to his other side yet. Right. So like adding more damage to him doesn't do it does anything. nothing. In fact, if you did 20 to him and he had one health remaining, all of it Irrelevant. would cancel. Yep, I get it. All right, let's look at this. Mm. Come on, Crossbones, you got this. Okay, so this is pretty cool. You ready for this? I'm gonna do some fun stuff with Spider-Man. I just, it all started clicking actually. All right. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is web line. It's a superpower. Push an enemy within four toward this character small. Um, a character can be pushed by a superpower only once per turn. Also, Captain America has a day like any other. Uh, each turn you may reduce the cost of the first superpower used by each allied character by one to a minimum of one. Oh, good for Cap. So he's a real, he's the a real boy. The first superpower of every hero. No matter the range. Within a period, yeah. On he's, Cap's He's team. just a leader. That's, a, that's that star, so you've got that yeah, leadership unbelievable. ability. Unbelievable. So it costs one, uh, and I can wow. basically pull Baron Zemo uh, he's within four of Spider Man, which he is. A small movement template towards me. So, you ready for this? This is going to be fun. Let's do this. So, mm -hmm. I assume I can just pull him like right oh, here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, anything. All right, let's pull him there. And that, that's a superpower, so that doesn't cost me an action because it doesn't say action. Great. You ready for this? And then I have the web of Pult, <laughs> which costs three. So, yes, I'm going to spend three. <laughs> Choose an interactive terrain feature, this car. Uh huh. Uh, or an enemy character, both you of can size throw characters two, into characters two well. or less, yes, and within three. So they're both within three of me and size two or less. Yep, it's a two. Uh, and I get a th so I'm th taking my webs and I'm throwing my car at Baron Zemo. Okay, so which here we is go. Amazing. This is great. Let's talk about a throw because throws are important. Okay, so the player performing the throw positions the movement tool with one in touching the thrown character. So are you throwing the character or the terrain? I feel like I want to throw the terrain. Okay. I, it seems cooler to pick a car up with the webs. You know right. what I mean? Yep. Um, Is it possible to miss, though, and hit cap? Because that would be bad. No. I right. don't think so. We'll see what happens. I don't think so. Okay, so don't use the pivot point in the movement tool. It must be straight. It must be straight. Okay? Okay. And it says you can throw terrain, right? As long as it's size two or less. Okay. Yeah. Uh, move the thing along the movement tool with its base centered on the movement tool the specified distance. Uh, any, anything that it would overlap in that journey oh, yeah. is going to so get thrown. When I move you, I'm going to do this. Put you like right here instead. Okay. That way I don't throw the car into myself. Oh, yeah. You it, might. I, th I think you ignore yourself. Great. So it's basically this oh, car no, is going to move straight it. towards Baron Zemo. Ignore the character performing the throw and any terrain features the thrown character started overlapping. So like if you're standing on a building and you start throwing it. Um, if the character does not collide with anything, it moves the full distance along the tool. So the thrown character collides with the first thing that it touches. It moves along the movement tool. It stops if its base contacts or overlaps another character's base or a terrain feature. But do I have to successfully do this somehow? What is the, what is the attack scene? Choose an interactive terrain feature or enemy, both sides two or less, and within three, and throw it small. The super can only be used once a turn. No. No Just roll at all. Yeah, you're throwing a car. I do get a dodge roll. That matters. There it is. All right, so this is coming straight at you. Yes. A thrown uh, character that collides with a terrain feature suffers one damage. The terrain feature is destroyed and removed from the table if it's a smaller size than the thrown character. Okay. Um, it's not going to be a smaller size. A thrown character that collides with another character suffers one damage. So everything... Oh, throwing terrain. Hold on. We got a different section. Ah, it's in the terrain feature. Okay. So, throwing a terrain feature. Let me rescind. That was throwing a character. Mm, we're throwing a mm. car. All right, we're starting back over. When a character throws a terrain feature, the character's controller positions the movement tool with one in touching the character performing the throw, which is Spider-Man. Don't use the pivot point in the movement tool. It must be straight. 
the first terrain feature or character contacted or overlapped by the movement tool suffers the effects of the collision. Um, so obviously you're just going to put it right here and that's going to collide yeah. with, <laughs> with all cross modes. A terrain feature that is thrown is destroyed and removed from the table. By car. If a character is overlapping a terrain feature when it's destroyed, place the character directly on the battlefield in the same position. So like if you were standing on here and this was destroyed, you just go straight down okay. and stand there. If the thrown terrain feature collides with another terrain feature of an equal or smaller size, that terrain feature is also destroyed. If it collides with a character, the character must make a dodge roll to avoid being damaged by the throw. So let's do it. So you're basically throwing the car. You can uh, make that as visually exciting as you'd like. Okay, thank you. Yeah. And I'll, then it's I'll removed from the board. All right, it's gone. And uh, we'll see if you got out from under the yeah. car or not. So to do this, the character rolls dice equal to its physical defense, which is pretty hardy. Four. Uh, add an additional die to the dodge roll for each critical in the initial roll, as usual, and then apply any dice modifications. The character takes damage equal to the size of the terrain feature, plus one, and then we reduce it by one for each critical while they're blocked. So it's three. It's a size two, plus one, so three, and then you're basically blocking three it. Three minus. Oh, one. Got him. Bummer. Uh, three he's minus one. He's not the dodgiest one. of characters. You know, he's a big guy. Yeah, so now I'm going to take two damage. And let me see this. Inured to pain, if this character would suffer damage, it may use the superpower reduce the amount suffered by one. And it costs you an entity. I guess I'll do that. Okay. So it's, it's kind three. of a, it's kind of an interesting trade because I don't gain energy. And you're spending energy. And I'm spending energy. Hmm. So I either take two and gain so, two, or I take one. It's also worth pointing out, I have to attack crossbones, and I literally haven't done anything with Spider-Man yet. These are my superpowers. Oh, those are not even these actions. These aren't even actions. I'm oh just doing my gosh. This. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, so I'm going to stay cool then. When I'm we play a demo game, I thought frisky. these were actions. But the fact that Spider Man, every one he's using these, can basically just do it. It cost me a bunch of uh, energy, though. So. so I spend a power to remove one of those damage from coming in. So I take one, and then I gain yeah. one power. So it was three. You rolled one cancel. Now it's two. You use your superpower. Now it's one. You take a damage, and you gain a power. That's right. And then now I get to actually go with Spider Man. Is that Now that's technically an attack. And so I could advance a small distance towards the attacking character. Is that an attack? To. Is throwing terrain an attack? Yeah, I think everything on your card is considered an attack. I, I will check that out. No, probably not, because it's superpower, right? I'm going to guess that these are attacks. With that's, that's, what, that's what I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's, let's call uh, it that. So I have some quick questions coming in I want to clarify before we keep going. Um, yes, we will be breaking the stream up into other videos that will be available later. Someone's saying they can't watch them all. Um, we are just playing with a starter set and the terrain that came in a starter set. Uh, Will noted that we were on the rules for throwing a character, not on throwing terrain, which is funny. Thanks, Will. We got there. Uh, it's basically just an exercise in how effective is the rule book. And it's, it's done so a pretty far, good job yeah, so far. Got yeah. there. Uh, and then last question before I actually go with Spider-Man. Uh, it looks like a fun game. When does it release? So the scheduled release, I think, is November 15th. Um, so it'll be out soon. Yeah, very soon. Okay. Uh, so Spider-Man is going to go. Uh, and what do I want to do? Crossbones has how many left? Four? Can I do four? Can you do four with everything coming in at a minus one? Is the whole question? round is minus one? Well, I can always use uh, mm, got it. one yeah, power yeah. for one damage. What's a, what's a stun do? Stun is a condition. just want to let you what know that. What condition is my condition in? <laughs> and I think it has something to do with I can't gain power or something. We'll, we'll confirm that superpowers are not attacks. Cool. Thank you, Will. Special conditions, page 26, it tells me right there. Stun, if an effect would cause the character to gain more than one power, it gains only one power instead. So oh. it can only gain one, which is actually kind of handy for me because I'm probably going to stay on one because I'm going to keep getting injured and yeah. paying one and getting one, paying one, getting one. Um, let's do this. I'm going to use my taser webs. This is an energy attack. Uh, if the attack deals one or more damage after it is resolved, the target character gains a stun special condition. Okay. And my uh, energy defense is very low because I'm crossbones, cool. so I have two dice. All right. And my energy attack with taser webs is a six. It's range three. Oof. Uh, Oof. So I'm going to roll six at you. So there's, is there damage coming in from this too? Yeah. It's yeah, a, it's just an attack. It's just an energy one style attack. More attack. It's, oh my gosh, that's good. Okay. Bring it on. Spidey man. Da, da, dee, 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 dee. All my defense rolls started to yeah, show you up. You got four there. Pretty can't argue. Three with hits that. in a wild, no crits. Ooh, two defense. That's good. That's very fortunate. That's pretty good. So it said, 
if this attack deals one or more damage after it's resolved, the target character gains stun. So technically, you could p prevent the damage with your uh, one one of the damage. Yeah. yeah. So. Let's look at when we would do that. We resolve criticals, modify dice, calculate success or failure. Is this an effect that's going to resolve before damage? If the stack deals damage. Okay, so it's going to be after that. Um, so we apply the damage. So I'll spend one to reduce that damage by one. So I'll take two, right? Or I'm sorry, one damage. That's right. So four minus two is two, minus one is one, and I take one damage and gain one energy. And then you gain a stun. And then the attack is resolved and we resolve the effects, so I get stunned. Give me something that might look like a stun over there. Mm. Boy, good question, huh? Uh, that little blue, I, blue people use blue for stun all the time. All right, let's do that. That looks more like an object. Well, that might be a stun. Who knows? I'm gonna put it on the board to mark that he's stunned. Signify. Okay, and then he's got how many left here? Three. I have three health remaining. I do not. Think. He's a bit of a tank, isn't he? He is tanky. <laughs> it's almost on purpose. Um. And you have one less character than me going to the next round, right? Because Baron Zemo is like dazed or something? Well, so Baron Zemo will go next turn because he will just be injured and start again at the top of the next turn. I would have to injure him during the turn. To What I'm about to do to Captain America is what you should be doing, yes. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm going to stand up and have the first attack. And you assume you're going to hit him. Sword you. Okay, uh, I'm just <laughs> going to strike you. With okay. Spider-Man, so I roll five. Any damage I deal, I gain energy. Physical attack? Yep. All right, so I got four physical defense. All right, Ooh. four and a crit, so. Ooh, man, nice. I Three am and a on crit. Two and a crit. those. So um, I'm gonna reroll my skull as a crit. That's not technically a reroll for those watching at yeah. home. We're just using Let's... dice, dice math. And I'll reroll my crit into a blank as well, so we're on even footing there. Uh, any modifications? I have no more modifications. All right, I don't either. I'm going to pay one energy to reduce this to zero damage and move on. All right. Now, I don't get a power, so I feel like Crossbones is kind of operating on the low power and then build up for a haymaker and then just soak up a lot of damage. Yep. <clears throat> All right, and you're done? Yep. Score victory points, etc. Characters with a daze token, that's me, Remove all damage tokens, which I've already done. Flip to the injured side. And uh, the player who activated the last character during the activation phase, if you have the priority token, you pass it, which you do not. Remove all activated tokens from characters. So when you do not cap down, the activation <laughs> priority is going to switch yeah. to me. Uh, move the round token to the next round on the mission tracker. Ding. And then start the power phase. Everybody gets one power. Powerful, yeah. Boom, All boom, right. and begin a new round. Okay. Activations. Hmm. That's Who's good. got the best shot at this? I think Baron's got the best shot. He's definitely the punchiest. Five, I've got a six. I've only got one power. So let's start Baron. Ha-ha, I was injured, and now. Welcome, Niccolo. You're back. <laughs> <laughs> sword right in the face. <laughs> That's so good. Sword strike, here we go. I've got a five. All right, so is this your biggest attack? I'm it is gonna... not my biggest attack. Let's just, I'll roll the dice on this one. <laughs> roll four. Oh, no, not shield blocking, huh? Eh. It'd be minus one, wouldn't it? For Cap's ability? Not every other hero. Oh, not himself. of course, yeah. yeah. He's selfless. That's right. All right, here we go. I'm choosing Captain America as the target. I've paid the power cost of zero. And here we go. Two dice. Not so I roll bad. now? Yeah, roll yours. Come on, shieldies. Got a crit and, and a block. Shield. That's so go good, good news for me. Resolve your crit there. You have no crits? I got no crits. So yeah. I'll reroll my blank because I'm adding the dice for the crit. And I got another blank. Nothing. Okay. Uh, then we go to the strategic genius ability, my favorite. I get to reroll one die. So I have a shot at doing ah, exactly what I needed. Uh, and I want to check something before we do this. So one question I have is... I have these wild abilities. Mm -hmm. My curiosity is, does it matter if the attack succeeds or fails to use that wild? I think it has to succeed. You would think that. But maybe not. I just want to make sure, you know, sometimes there's these little rules and they change the entire way that a, 
a game is playing. While you're looking that up, I'm gonna answer a couple questions from Nicola here on the stream. What kind of customization does this have? Do you mean like customization of the models? Because they come unpainted, unput together. So I think you could customize those pretty heavily. And then he's asking if we'll do painting streams uh, for our painters because these look beautifully done. We did not paint these. The people at Atomic Mass did. They have been doing streams for that, and I assume they'll continue doing so. So if you haven't checked those out, highly recommend watching those. Fix and I've seen also Sarastro game. posting some, he's working on some terrain for the game. So I assume he'll be painting them. And uh, he is an incredible teacher, especially for people that have never painted before. So check out his videos, Sarastro, whenever those are around. Check, check this out. It does not have to deal damage. Isn't if that the, crazy? The result, you get the I effect. just read it. Uh, some attacks, I got the rules on tap over here. Some attack stream. special rules have icons before the name, such as bleed. If a special roll has one or more icons with it and the final attack roll contains at least that many dice showing those icons, the effect of the special roll is applied to the attack. So that's fast. So Baron can just make people bleed regardless of if it's successful or not, hmm. which is pretty amazing. And just for your reference, Zach, the character suffers one damage at the end of each of its activations if it's bleeding. Forever. Now, you can shake it. That's one of your actions that you can take, mm. of course. Shake it off. Um, okay, so I just did one damage. Anything to stop that from happening? I don't think so. Where did this come from? This is, this wasn't like this, right? This little boy. You just rolled that. That was the extra damage you rolled in. No, I've already got that here. I don't I know what happened. I swear I only did three. Yeah, I only did three. It does. I, one is all you need. All right. One so is he's all got I need. five. So he'll take his damage now. When I go away, my energy stays. Yeah, let's find that out too. I don't know. I think I removed all of oh, mine yeah, I'm because dazed. I'm. I'm not. I'm not gone. I'm just dazed. Okay. And is there, I assume there will be characters that can undaze characters, you know what I mean? I would think that, yeah. You know, it doesn't say anything about losing their power. I don't think they would. That wouldn't make sense. Which is wild. It's a lot of power potential. Yeah. Uh, TC Roll asking, uh, we're doing heroes versus villains, but can you mix them? You definitely can. So there are no factions. You can run any 10 models you want. There is a thing called an affiliation. So, like, Capt has uh, affiliation Avengers a day like any other. If more than half of your team is the same affiliation, so in this case Avengers, those trigger. And there are cards, the, the tactic cards we'll get also trigger off of that. So there's bonuses, it's kind of like Arena Rex was, but there's bonuses for having most of your, your list be a certain faction, but definitely you can mix and match however you want. Sword Strike, gain energy equal to the damage dealt, so Baron's gonna gain one energy. And do you mind? He's gone. <laughs> yes. Consider yourself chopped. All right. Uh, and then Baron Zemo uh, has a second action that can be taken. I think I'm going to try to roll in on Spider-Man here. What do you think? We have line of sight. Yeah, characters do not block line of sight in any way whatsoever, which is really handy. So the way that it works is um, as long as I can draw any part of my template to your part of the template, characters don't matter. Terrain does block it if it's the equal or so greater that, size. Like that line right there? Yeah, that would be line of sight. Um, now, if, like, we're here and here, if you as the defender can draw a line from you to me that interacts with the terrain piece in any way, you have cover, and nice. you get a uh, blink becomes a dodge automatically. One or all? Just one. Cool. Which is a pretty, pretty tidy way to do it. All right, here we go. Baron Zemo going to launch an attack called Steel Rush. Ooh, or I could do a charge. Can move action followed by an attack action. So I could do a charge sword strike and make you bleed, which I like. Or I could do a steel rush, which also has bleed. Hey, he's a bleeder. <laughs> That's awesome. He's a dot man. I okay. may say I'm a bleeder. Uh, so let's do steel rush. All right. It's going to cost me two power. Hit me with it. Paying the cost. I see him coming up after Spidey. Creating the attack pool. I need six dice. If you don't mind here. Thank you very much. Let's roll them up. Mm, a lot of skulls there. Just garbage. <laughs> I don't get the old garbage pit. You want to roll your defense? Oh, yeah. dice so you I'm Spider-Man. I get to roll three. This is it physical? Yes. Uh, wild and a hit. Hit won't matter. So here comes the crit explosion. Also not going to matter. I also have spider sense. When I'm defending, I can uh, re-roll two of my dice. I cannot re-roll the skull. Let's do it. Through. So I have priority still, yeah? Yep. So let me modify mine first which is Strategic Genius. I can reroll one of my attack dice. Into a block. Sweet. Uh, and then you can reroll two of yours. All right, you I cannot just... reroll the skull, mm -hmm. but, and the wild counts as a block. It does. So I'm gonna leave that, so I'm gonna reroll up to two, I'm gonna reroll this one. And I got another Ooh, wild. Nice. 
Spider Man. No, no damage taken. Spider Man. Uh, then we calculate success or failure. Uh, this is a failed attack. There is no damage being done, but we will resolve the bleed because it does have the bleed. Oh, I don't have the wild. Ah, no, I didn't bleed you. <laughs> you missed. After it's resolved, I may advance a medium distance. So I'm going to get out of town here. This is a question for the rules lawyer at the table. Um, a day like any other, my static cap effect, I assume that's not happening when he's knocked out or dazed? Yes. He's all, just all special abilities are blank. Bummer. Yeah. That's a bummer, dude. And there's no like opportunity attacks or any of that business either. So like, cool. if you think about moving, you can just kind of move freely. And uh, that's it. Baron Zemo has got that long move too. We're we're like kind of playing a nice yeah. team here. Um, all right, so Spidey, Spidey, Spidey time. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strike Baron Zemo. Mm. It's five die attack. Let's do this. I need some energy. So let's or crossbones. Oh, right. Yeah, that's what I meant. Two hits, two crits. Ugh. Spider Man came to party. All right, here's my defense. Blank town. Oh, two crits. Two crits as now. well. So I'm first, right? Mm hmm. We've got one floater. You can I'll do, do that my one blank. and reroll one. All right. You don't have anything that can rerolls attacks, right? Because that could actually matter if you can I do not that have reroll attacks. No. Okay. Two blanks. Don't matter. Cool. Um, you got anything on your side? I will be able to reroll this blank with. Oh no, I'm not within two. Ah, I failed. His tactical genius. My, has time, my failed. strategic genius was uh, was instead spent on cowardice. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm not going to reroll anything, but I will throw these crits in if you don't mind. Okay, one wild. That's good. Okay, so I'm hitting for four, and it looks like you. It's going to be minus three. Okay. Of these two. Uh, Two crits and a wild, and then I will spend one energy to make it zero. Bah! I needed that to hit. Hmm. Anything that happens on... It looks like you don't have any wilds, no, right? I, I needed... Uh, if I do damage, I gain energy. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Crossbones is there to be the... All right, let's strike him again. Sponge. We're going to strike him again. Because I can double strike. Just punch him, you know? Just a brawl. This, uh, is, how this is how three Crossbones hits. wants it, really. Okay, so nothing, nothing, and one block. There'll be no escape this time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any energy either to, to do. You got me. I think you got me. So I've got one block. You've got three damage. All right. He's going to take two. Oh, I'm not. He's got six. He's got six. He's, I'm he's a tanky. Tough boy. But I'm not done with my turn yet. Now, I would normally take two power for that, but I'm stunned, so I only get to take one. So, and I did two damage? Yep. So when I strike, I gain energy equal to the... Uh, yeah, amount that was dealt. Power, yeah. And then, for my next trick, let's see if I even have it. You know what I'm going to do? See that lamp or that stoplight? I'm web it at you. Oh, that's a free thing, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm using my oh superpowers. Oh, my gosh. So I'm web apulting, um, and this is a size one. Okay. So it's only going to do, it does two so damage. So it'll be two, and yep. then I get a dodge roll. And I'm web apulting it at crossbones. All right. Well, let's see dodge. if I dodge out How many of the dodges do you get? Uh, four for my physical defense. Mm. And that's a that's a straight up two. Yeah. So size of one plus one is two. Goes away. <laughs> but you <laughs> miss. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Man, crossbones. I was really counting on that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let me in on your I secret guess, plan. I, I guess I, I should have. on success. You know what I should have done. <laughs> Oh, let me uh, look at this. You I, could also throw me into Baron, couldn't you? I should have thrown you into the building. That's way better. Yeah. Do you want to do that instead? Yeah, let's try that. Yeah, I like that better. So if I throw you into the building, how does throwing a character work? That's, that's actually cool. Well, I read you the whole that. thing earlier by yeah, mistake. Yeah, I, I was not paying attention <laughs> at all. I'm going to be honest with you. All right. The player performing the throw positions the movement tool with one in touching the thrown character. That's me. You just going to put that wherever you want. Yep. Uh, it must be straight. It is. Okay. Move the thrown character along the movement tool with its base centered on the movement tool, the specified distance. Bam! All right. It collides. It's it collides with the first thing it overlaps. It right. It's either another character or a terrain feature, which in this case is a terrain feature. A thrown character that collides with the terrain feature suffers one damage. Full stop. The terrain that's feature. That's exactly what I needed. The terrain feature is destroyed and removed from the table if it's a smaller size than the thrown character. It's not. It's not. 
Uh, thrown character that collides with another character suffers one damage, and the other character tries to make a dodge roll against the size of that character, which is cool, yeah, right? Like you're trying to dodge me throwing someone at you. So I have a size of two, plus one, I imagine, and then it's a three that you're dodging against. That's pretty cool. Um, okay, so you, you daze me? I daze Now, you. technically, if the character would suffer one damage, it may use the super power to remove, remove that amount by one. So I guess I'll just prevent that one damage. What do you think about that? How does it read? <laughs> if this character would suffer damage, it may use this superpower. Reduce the amount of damage suffered by one. <laughs> That's fine. I took away your power. Now let me tell you this. As devastating and funny as that is to me as the person who gets to deprive you of the joy of winning, um, that feels very much like Crossbones is super tough. Yeah. Right? He's getting beat up and is still fine, which is pretty amazing. And I'm actually a little bit okay that, like, he's... Going into another turn, you basically have to go with him because I can just knock him out. Now, I'm going to take the last act of issues. I'm going to pass it to you. Oh, then I get to come to you. And you get to and see. Gonna, yeah, we're good. It's going back and forth. And Cap gets his revenge. <clears throat> He's going to yes. corner you into the. Okay. Now I have no power and really nothing to do except for punch. So let's see if I'm within two. I don't think that I am. Not even close. It's a long fist, anyway. So uh, first action, I'm going to move to try to get away from all the terrain that you can throw around. Or throw you into? Yeah, and I just need to be too... Boy, I'm going to be in the old cap sandwich there, aren't I? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. The cap sandwich. That's hilarious. Let's go here. Uh, let's... All right, we're going to avoid the cap sandwich, actually. I like these movement templates. They're really nice to utilize. All right, that's within two, right? We all agree on that? Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> Dragon Ball Z style, get thrown into the building and then come back and start swinging. Crossbones is going to strike you. It's going to be five dice. Uh, and then it's a physical attack. Tell yep. me what you want. I'm just on three. Roll it out. Here we go. Wild hit crit. So that's three so far, and I'm going to get to blow up that crit. Uh, wild nice. and a crit. Okay. So let's explode those criticals. I'm just going to use that boy. So I got nothing. Oh! And a shield. And now I have Spidey Sense. When I'm defending, I can re-roll. So I'm going to re-roll my blank. Okay. Because these are all... Yeah, I've got no rerolls that I can offer. Now, if I was next to Baron, I, was, I would be yeah. much better off. You got here. further away, though. I did. I see, I think that's going to be the critical <laughs> point sense. of the game. Uh, positioning and animation. Um, game. All right, so three versus three. Nothing happens. Spider-Man says no. Anything on that wild? Nope. Just hanging out. Okay. Cool. Uh, and then I'm checkmarked. So, ready to go. All right, so Cap is gets rid of this token. Remove days, remove the bleed, if you have that still. Um, remove everything except for power. And then flip over to the injured side. You still have that ability on the injured side? I do, yes, and I gain an ability, actually. I can do this all day. When defending against attacks, this character adds blanks and its defense roll to its total. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is wrong with you? He's, he's the shield man. Why do you get better? Am I getting better or worse? Some characters do, some don't. <laughs> it's very handy. Spider-Man doesn't, as an example. Okay, neither does Baron. I feel like Baron and Spider-Man are similar templates. One's more bleedy and one's more webby. Yeah, well that is about right. <laughs> and I'm still Nailed stunned. Um, everything is as we expect here, and I do pass the token because I took the last activation. That's right, so now I get to go first. Boy, Captain's ready to party too. He's ripped up, look at that. Yeah, he's done with your business. Do you have, can you, is that the injured side? Up there, Bryce? Nice. Thanks. All right. How would you like to go? Power phase. Everybody gains one. Yeah, yep. Yeah. That's good. Any power phase effects now that you're injured, Cap? I nope. feel like... No. I feel... Because Spider-Man is on a, a limb here. How close were you to... Oh, you're at three of five? He's just two away, but I mean, he's fragile if, if he misses on his dodge. So I don't want to be in a position where you can just punch me. 
Um, I'm going to go Spider-Man because I don't want to get knocked out and lose I his agree. activation. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So he's got the long move and he's going to Crossbones do... takes one and is out also. So that would deprive me of an entire activation with Crossbones. Yeah. Well, let's start... If you can do it. I'm going to try, try you know? to punch you and then I'm going to hop on that building. Okay. To get away. <laughs> I just want it out of here. You tell me your plan, huh? Yeah. Well, you can't do anything in, in the meantime, really. You're just defending. All right. So Spider-Man is going to hit you with a strike. All right. Here's four dice. All right. Mm, dad's mode. Four, four oh hits in a wild. It's actually very fortunate that I'm like only one away from death because I'm going to take two, one block. Two blocks? And then I just bury you. And, you know, the funny thing is, so here's the question. Um, I think you ignore any damage that would go over, which means I would also not gain power. Like if you did seven and I only took one. I think one, that's true. Yeah. You take it what you take. And I'm stunned anyway, so I'll take one uh, energy and I'll get knocked out. Great. And so ah. then here's the thing. After this is resolved, this character gains damage equal or energy equal to the damage dealt. One so damage. it's only one. Yeah. It's, I'll, I'll see if I can clarify that, but I'm, I'm certain. Because otherwise you could really just dogpile. So now I'm just like not scared at all. <laughs> Oh, yeah? You know what I mean. <laughs> cool. I just, I was, uh, I you can, was. You can never have damage tokens in excess of your current stamina. Any additional damage is ignored. Oh, man, look at that. Oh, uh, you're not in range. Then. Nope. <laughs> I'm so close. I actually bumped your model, and I don't know where you are, so I'm just going to act like I'm out of range. I can put it here. No, it's cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. Spider-Man's going to move. Would it allow you to it, do something I cool? Just, the coolest thing is Spider-Man top of the building. Can I have that range? That's all it takes, anyway. huh? Spider-Man on top of a building. I mean, what? End scene. So look, here he goes. <laughs> How cool is this? That's pretty cool. That's all, that's all we need to know. All right. Yeah. So it looks like Baron's going to activate here. So we got the two injured boys fighting in the middle. And you're going to be bleeding five ways from <clears throat> Sunday on this one. My money's on cap. Yeah, you got a lot more power. My, my blanks are defenses. I can pay two to add two defense. So I'm going to roll six dice. My blanks counts as defending. It's going to be hard for you to hit. Yeah, it's a, it's a real problem because there's not a lot that I can do. I need, I essentially just need two power. That's what I really need. And I've got one. So I'm going to see if there's Great. anything I'm missing. Uh, Chad asking, how do we compare this to Star Wars Legion? And we may do a video that's just us talking about the differences. Yeah, I mean, that's, you've played enough Legion to know. Yeah. I haven't, yeah. I haven't done I, that. I think conceptually we can talk about that. That's because that's a longer conversation. All right, Baron, you're going to, you're going to, let's go. Let's go. Yep. Give me here, look. I'm going to be a minis player. <laughs> Triangulate my position. <laughs> you can get there. Just put them wherever It actually works really nicely. You. These templates look great. Thanks again, James, if you're watching. All right, so my first action was a move. My second action will be a sword strike. It's a two range uh, attack. And uh, it's a five physical attack. I'll add two. Mm. I just need a good roll here, and you need a bad roll. I don't have bad rolls, though. Mm -hmm. The only bad thing on my die is the hit. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's so hard to hit. That's incredible. OK, give Two me a roll. Two crits is pretty good. I'm going to borrow one of these blanks, if that's OK. Um, yes. I need six. Let me we'll, mark we'll, that. If I, I roll a skull, we'll get there. I'll need to re-roll. All right. Those are bad. This is bad. These are good. I get one crit, a skull, and two hits. Okay, so why don't you roll this one in as a crit? You don't have any re-rolls, yeah? Nope. Okay, and then I've got two re two crits here. Oh, Got another hit. Do you ever find that when you re-roll those crits, they never hit? Yeah, they exploded it's been 100% wrong. Uh, then I've got Strategic Genius. Uh, re-roll one die in the attack, so let's re-roll this one. <laughs> Swoosh. Uh, I got three blocks so far. The old office pan there. Um... All right, you blocked it. All right. But you're bleeding. So I had the last laugh. I, what does that mean? No, no, I need the wild. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. Always oh, need the wild. Who's laughing now, Zemo? How many rolls did I have to make to get that wild? Uh, that's it. OK. My turn? Mm, I guess. You ever feel like it's Justice's turn? Justice never sleeps. That's right. Um. How close are you? You're within two of me, right? You just, Easily, yeah. We, just, we, we established that. You just queued up. All right. <laughs> well, uh, let's start with a strike. Cap is going to strike you for five. 
You know, the amazing thing is you don't, there's not, I figured there would be an ability that's like gain a power or something. I kind of like that you don't, though. You have to just get in there and try. You gain one around, and then you get, need to get punched if you're going to do Or you need to do cool. the punching. Yeah. Yeah, one of the two. All right, Cap's going to strike you. All right, I've got a three defense. Uh, That's what we needed. That's one a two. and a wild. Um, three physical defense. I've got a wild. Do you have any modifications? Nope. I'll do a reroll. Mm. There's my wilds. Too two. bad you're not bleeding. All right. Uh, let's do a shield slam. Yeah, get right out of here. So wait, you, all of it's gone, huh? Yep. <laughs> and I needed, I was trying to get energy was the goal of that. that <laughs> yeah, thing. I was too last turn. Yeah. Because <laughs> I had a counter strike. Happening. It would have been great. All right, uh, <laughs> here comes the shield slam. If I hit, uh, after the attack, I can throw you small. So I'm going to toss you to make you have to move. No way. Oh my gosh. Let's see, four, five blanks in a while. You remember what it's like to play miniatures games? Here we are. <laughs> Happy golden days. <laughs> Perfectly laid plans, just getting wrecked. All right, you got me, but I still get a Tasha. So I'm shield slamming you directly away. Hmm. Oh, I need my. I need to check mark him, don't I? Um, I'll do the same. All right, we did it. Yeah. All right, so end of round, I activated last, and I have priority, so right, I'm passing on. the token over yeah, to you. Yeah. And then we remove the check marks and all that business. You need bear or crossbones to flip <sighs> over. And he removes all statuses and is ready to go. This is starting to flow really nicely, don't you think? Yeah, I, I really like it. I feel like this is a great first game as well, just in terms of like not having the crisis cards to interact mm -hmm. with, not having the objectives, because that is going to add a little bit of like basically bookkeeping and yep. not just like go punch the guy because right now it's like well which one's my biggest punch that's available yeah right and that's not even the game like as you can tell from cap getting very hard to, to deal with now he gets six stamina hard to hit it's not just defeat it's not just a punchy game yeah um, i think i think game. in terms of points like defeating a character worth one which is like an end of round objective is worth one um so yeah do you feel like we're at a good point to i want to do one more round all right cool yeah i want to do one more round and then i'm actually you know the thing about this is I think, man, once we get five each on the table, it's going to be almost overwhelming for me. It's going to be heavy. I like, I might do a three for, you know, like, I'm going to just be a slowly three, scale it up. three kind of guy. Because so you got to learn all the moves of everyone, the, too. If you look, the other stat we haven't been uh, dealing with, where is it? Is it on this front side? Energy? No, this the cost. Oh, it's right here. This last thing yeah, is the, the four-point yeah, yeah. cost. So most of these, so the way you build scenarios, which we'll go over in a little bit, uh, is like 12 to 16 points, and Cap's four, Spider-Man's four. I'm only so, three on my side. I'm playing with a handicap. Yep, that's right. So you're, you're basically looking at like three to five models Yep, is the real. So like three and four is not going to be abnormal. All right, that's fair. All right, Maybe I'll more, just run a, a tough a small big, list. Big hit list, yeah. So uh, Energy for everybody. Last round. Let's do it. Energy for all. And Baron's going to go first because I'd like to try to get a bleed on cap before I get a bleed on cap and get him within crossbones range. So I've got to charge into an attack if I want that. I've also got a steel rush, which is like a charge with the sword. So let's do, let's do a charge. All right. The Baron's on the charge here. Um, so I can take a full move and then I can take an attack. So let's do this kind of a thing here so I can easily get there. And let me make sure that this is, yeah, okay. <laughs> got you looking good, Strat looking good. Strategy going. So because it's a charge, I get to make a free attack now. So I'm going to do that sword strike for five. And you've got a what defense physically? Who are you attacking? Captain? I'm attacking Cap, yeah. Four? Um, yeah, I've got a four. You doing it? You doing your shield? No, nah, I'm going to save it. <laughs> Give me that wild. There's two. Uh, four with a crit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, all right, so I will roll in a crit. All right. That's another crit. It's not going to I rolled in my crit. Yeah, so I have five blocks. Ridiculous cap. And then Baron Zemo. I can do this all day. Strategic genius. Uh, there's a block. So that's not going to be a, a wild, unfortunately. Three to a million? Yep. It's gone. I'm going to go ahead and go on record saying I love... This Captain America stat <laughs> card. <laughs> and I think I'm just going to do the same thing. Um, that I don't have any power, so at this point, that's kind of my move. Hopefully, I will also do the same thing. I'm just trying to get that wild, honestly. It's kind of the name of the game right now. I'm already bleeding, though, right? No. 
I thought, oh, you didn't get the wild last mm -mm. time. Yeah, I yeah, know. All right, what'd you get? Uh, two. All right. Wilds, that's better. Just three. And then I'll blow up the criticals into nothing, and then I'll do a reroll with Baron. Come on. Into a hit. Okay. 3v3, still gonna be zero. No, it's two. Oh yeah. Yeah. Three. Three v three. Zero damage. Cap. Very difficult. He's got that shield. He does not want to die. Some would say a shield is the best defense against a sword. That would make a bit of sense, yeah. And that's kind of where we are. He's also just got that no nonsense, like, I might not win, but I'm not gonna die. Run. I just I there's probably one wild on the eight eight sides. Yeah, I think so. Okay. So it's not overly high odds of getting that. Okay, go for it. All right, let's think about life. This is the question, isn't it? Crossbones, oh, I should have gone with crossbones first. Dang it, that, that was disastrous. He's only got one health left. I am aware. So that's clearly <laughs> worth considering. All right, Spidey Man, <laughs> here we go. Uh, he's going to use the... Uh... Are you still minus one for all your yeah. stuff? Let me see. Oh, yeah, you're within range. So I'm going to use my minus one with a day like any other on cap on Spider-Man to use the Web of Pult. Choose an interactive terrain feature or an enemy character. Uh, both size two or less and within three. So he's within three. And I'm going to throw him... Uh, you throw him a Baron. Small towards me. Oh. Is he within Ooh. three? Does Baron have to be within three of you? No, I just ha I'm throwing him a small. Choose an interactive terrain feature or enemy character. So I'm choosing him, mm -hmm. of size two or less, and within three, and I throw it S. So I just have to be able yeah, to throw it. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to throw him at Zemo. Oh, yeah, easy. Which is great. You got it. All right, uh, so I'm throwing him straight up. So we're throwing a character? Yep. All right, let's read, read me a song. Let's make sure we know what we're doing here. I'm throwing a character. Uh, position the movement tool with one end touching the thrown character. So it's going to be crossbones. Yeah. And it's going to be a small. It's straight on. Uh, thrown character moves along the movement tool. It stops if his base contact would overlap. A thrown character that collides with the terrain feature suffers one damage. A thrown character that collides with another character suffers one damage. The other character must make a dodge roll to avoid being thrown. Or to avoid taking damage. So I would take one and I'll just do the same old. Yeah, he's tough. I'm a tough crossbones boy. And then Baron is going to do the dodge roll on page 25. Determined incoming damage, adding one to the size of the thrown thing. So he's a two? Yeah. So Baron is taking a three here. That's pretty cool. You can make I kind of wish crossbones was like a five. Yeah, it was. Like a big weirdo. I'm just throwing big old crossbones at Zemo. <laughs> that's pretty great. And I love Spider-Man. That's, that's very well. The, the superpowers not being actions, it really helps a lot. All right, so I'm going to roll dice equal to Baron Zemo's defense. Okay. And then there's no uh, modified dodge dice for special rules and effects. And then we will reduce the damage as usual. All right, so here's Baron. Yeah, that's good. Yep. This could be big, big money moves. <laughs> nice. So this doesn't take any damage? Doesn't take any damage. <laughs> okay, uh, then... <laughs> Spider-Man is going to actually go. Look at that. That's so cool. Yeah. That was, that was nice. That was a nice little feels. Now uh, they're just sitting there not hurting Captain America. That's right. <laughs> and the Cap's going to come and get some in a second. Because <laughs> uh, you went with Baron already? Yeah. yeah he's got the check mark. So if I do knock out Crossbones, this is going to be great for me. If Spider-Man knocks out Crossbones here, it will be a tremendous tempo yeah. Let's uh, use moment. Impact Webbing. It's four dice. It's range four. So it's just... Uh... I think you got it. Yep. Oh, man. Two. Who's that against? Baron? Baron, yep. You know he's a strategic genius? It's so strategic and so genius. All right, that's not what we needed. Um, you sure you're attacking Baron with that? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. You're not attacking Crossbones? No. Nope. You don't want to kill Crossbones? I mean, I do eventually. Okay. Um, so I'm going to reroll one, I guess, because I'm a strategic genius, as we you, keep If saying. you had gotten a block there, you could have canceled the other one with your energy, but now you're taking two damage. Two damage, yes. On I'm, Baron. I'm doing crossbones. That's what I just said. I no, I thought you were saying that. I thought you were joking with me the other way around. Of course I'm hitting crossbones. All right, well, then it's a four dice roll on crossbones. Wow, oh, convenient. Because he said Baron. He said Baron. Um, one 
And then I do get Baron uh, Strategic Genius, so I get to reroll. Nothing. So I'm going to take one. Yep, that's mm -hmm. fine. So after the attack, I gain an energy. It's gone. Because that's what it does. Then I'm going to spend two energy for Taser Webs, uh, which is six dice, and it's also an energy attack. Oh, it's energy. Yep. Yikes, two dice. Uh, <laughs> and then if I hit you, you gain the stun token, which I think you still are stunned anyway. No, you remove them when you're dazed. Got it. When you're dazed out. Oh, sweet. Uh, a oh, yeah, Crossbones is, hit. you're right. Crossbones is, he dazed out. Yeah. Hold on. This, this entire thing is wrong. Oh, he's already I was already side. injured because I popped him up. I just forgot to flip the card. So that's a classic uh, mistake there. So do you want to do those two attacks against a different let's, let's, Yeah, thing? let's start that over. So yeah. I'm going to I have an energy. I'll, I'll do Baron okay. instead. I think that's fair. So that's hilarious. What did I do that first attack? Maybe you were thinking right the whole time, and then we changed the, changed the mm. vibe. You were like attacking Baron. It's like, that is reasonable. I want to attack the thing that I could knock injured. out. Yeah. He gets right. one. So I'll just do my, my impact webbing back to that same right character. Up. Three physical? Uh, yeah. Two. Uh, one, and then the old Baron reroll. One. Boom. So you block it, but I gain an energy. Take nothing. So then I will do the six die attack using my energy, the taser webs. Yep. And I can stun you if I get this. Baron's a three, crossbones is a two. We'll go Baron. Or crossbones. Crossbones for two. All right, three and a crit. All right, ro uh, rolling crits. I got one crit, and it turns into nothing. Nothing, so a four. And then we've got the Baron reroll for nothing. And so we've got one defense to four. I'm going to do minus one. So I'll take three, and I'll gain three power. Again, a stun. And a stun. Thanks. After I gave you the three power. Oh, is it after the power? Okay. You gain a power first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that makes sense. So I'm not that far behind. And that was Spidey? That was Spidey. Take a little check mark there. Bing. So now the question becomes, can Crossbones actually deal damage to you with a Haymaker? And I think the answer is it's the best shot we've got against Cap. <laughs> So here's a yeah, two. in a in a defeat mode only, this Captain America is insane. Is awesome because he's impossible to kill. Um, let's just do let's do a strike with a haymaker. Oh, but if I do the other one, I could throw you. Ooh, I like that throw. Hmm. Well, if the strike hits, if I gain two power after the strike hits, it'll be a beautiful moment. Because you're in strike range, right? So I'm going to declare yeah. uh, the Haymaker ability. It says the next striker overpower is going to add three dice to its attack roll. Okay. I'm going to declare my Vibranium Shield. Power up. All right, the dice are going to get a little tricky on this, a little wobbly. You're good. So five plus three, so I need eight dice total. Eight. <laughs> you only get one. That's how the rules oh, work. Oh, gosh. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> okay. We got some. Well, I think he's got a chance here. Some good ones there. I'm just gonna throw this in as a. Yep. Your skull. Actually, I guess that might matter for Baron. Throw this guy in as the uh, critical, and then I'll get to reroll this one. Technically, you have a skull one. that's gone. Yeah. Yeah. So how many do you roll in defense? I roll six. Let me just. We'll just do it kind of out of order because I don't think it'll matter. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Seven so damage coming to at my you. Six. Yeah. All right, Cap. I'm actually, I want to take like two or three damage here. For reasons that will become apparent. All right, so I got four and two skulls. So I'll, three blanks and a wild, so those all count for Cap. So how many did you do? Seven? I did seven. So I take three damage. I'm going to take three. Now, this would be fantastic in a normal situation where I would gain a lot of energy. But you stunned me. Yep. Which is extremely annoying. So you gain one game one. <laughs> yep. You're welcome. <laughs> which, which defeats the entire play. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, stunned you with little Spidey. Oh man, stunned good. Um. Well, nothing to do but keep punching, right? Where I come from. <laughs> Where I come so let's from. Let's strike again. And I'll take a five dice. I'll go ahead and add two. Mm. Can't let Cap go. So good. There's two criticals. 
Nice. And Baron. Four, four hits. Four hits. And I've in. got my six defense. Mm. For three blocks. Hey, that's good. So I'll take one. Take one, and I'll gain an energy from strike. So you can damage Cap. He's only got two health left. The Haymaker's really a good. I mean, there's a good foil. It's, yeah, it's those are both really Captain foil. America villains, so they should be decent. Oh, against them. that's very thematic. All I didn't right. truly appreciate that. Actually. You ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. Boo -doo 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 -doo. All right, let's see. How much health Baron got left? Baron has five health. Crossbones has two. Only two. He's going down. Yeah. It's a good shield slam, too. Baron, it's funny because Cap's n like enemies, Baron wants to be close to use that ability, mm -hmm. so they're set up for that shield toss every time. Yeah. It's like, it's just this anti-synergy of like, Cap is just set up to knock these bowling pins down, essentially. He, they were made for him to do so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Explicitly. Um, ah, which, what's the best interaction here. Anybody got any questions out there in the uh, chat land? Yeah, as soon as after this round we're going to answer some cool. questions and probably take a quick lunch break and then come back for some more right action. Um, if you have questions, now is the time while I'm figuring out how to beat Steven. Uh, You've been telling a good story. Yes, that's what I meant. <laughs> this it's, not, is, it's not about winning. So far, this is a phenomenal story. I mean, we have an injured Crossbones and Zemo Let's... taking down an injured Cap. Is Spider-Man uninjured? He's uninjured. Oof. And that's why... Cap needed to die that turn. That would have been good for you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so Cap is going to... We're going to start with a shield throw. Um, and we're going to start by attacking Zemo. Okay. It's a physical attack? Let's actually start with crossbones. Let's just double down. Because if I can get crossbones off the table, okay. that's good for me. He's a four it's physical, physical as opposed to a three. Yeah. But I guess you'll get one against all of them. Oh, right? Wild City. That's what I needed. That means I get a ricochet it off with yeah, crossbones. Yeah. So three... All right, there's one block, and we got a Zemo reroll into nothing. Which okay. It's just standard here. So two damage to crossbones. Yeah, soak one gonna of it, yeah. Cancel so one. we don't die. And then it has ricochet because I got a wild. After this attack is resolved, I can make a shield throw against uh, something within three. So obviously, Zemo is within three, so I'll hit Zemo with the shield as well. I got a crit and a wild, so I'll reroll this as my crit. And it's a physical attack? Yep. So two. All right, three physical defense for Zemo. Ooh, a wild and... Uh, You're going to cancel. Yeah, well it's going to be canceled. Reroll just cuts. All right, and then Cap will use the shield slam. Uh, so I get six dice, and we're going to go against Crossbones. Mm. Uh, Tail as old as time, huh? Crossbones, I think, is going to survive. He has one health left? Yep. It's tempting to actually do a strike. I'm going to do a strike instead. I'm going to go... Yeah, try to get some power back. So it doesn't cost me power, so I know I have the plus two defense next yeah, round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, like that. I can get some power back. I like or that. Or all power back if I get you. Ooh, that's good. Uh, I'll roll, yeah, so a, a crit. Ooh, Ooh, three crits and a defense. Four so I'll defense. roll this back in. Bruh. All right, so I ended up with five. Five damage. Tier four, but you get to roll some in for crits. Three in. I'll just bring these in. So you're at five. And a miss. You get, you get the... Zemos, there it is. genius. Yeah. Oh, he got it. <laughs> Prevents it. It does not go away. How cool. All right, so we... Crossbone's a brick, man. He is a brick. <laughs> He's so hard to do. But that's cool. I mean, I, I didn't appreciate how much of a brick he was. So we did basic gameplay. We didn't use tactic cards. We didn't use objectives. And we're going to answer some questions, take a break, come back, probably add the tactic cards like and objectives. Do you feel like you want to finish this, though? It's going to take a while, I think. You think so? It, I mean, I just tried to get you, and I couldn't. I tried to... You tried to get Cap, like... Are you going to make it through that? And what, Captain or Crossbones still, is going to die. It's at least two turns away from Spider-Man. That's true. Even if you nuke it's him absolutely and nuke true. him. All right, I agree. I agree. But it's it's good that I want to keep playing. It is that's good. A, that's a good We sign. will keep playing. It's and a really if, good sign. If you, yeah, as you can imagine, given that I have Spider-Man and Cap, I will let you keep playing with both characters right plus more in the next <laughs> round. So we got some good questions coming in. Uh, awesome. We have a bunch of people watching, which great. is cool. People great, are hanging great, out great. on Monday yeah. and watching us play. Um, so the first is... We're all at work right now. Let me find it. Question, price for the basic box. So the box is $99.95 MSRP. We have it, and I'm going to post a link to this uh, in the stream, for $79.96 on our website. Yeah, you can grab that online or in store if you happen to be in Oklahoma, Tulsa, if you want to drive in. And, and then... Uh, 
So yes. People ask him what's coming out uh, up front. So basically, the core set includes the 10 models, and I'm just going to pull. Can you grab all the core yeah. set models? So it comes with Spider Man, Captain America, Black Widow, Captain Marvel, Iron Man, Baron Zemo, Crossbones, Ultron, Doc Ock, and Red Skull. 10 models, plus it comes with all the terrain you see on the table two cars, two garbage cans. I think it's two buildings. This is a daily bugle, and I think there's another one actually. Uh, two stoplights, right, two street posts. Here. Yeah, it's got to say it somewhere in the box. Um, and then all the tokens, all the measuring templates, all the movement and stuff. And that's all for 80 bucks. Only one, one daily bugle, two cars, two dumpsters, two traffic lights, two lampposts. 170 tokens. It's crazy. Uh, the, the other building comes with a terrain pack. So there's the core set also coming out and release as a terrain pack. And it's like urban New York themed um, um, mats that you can get. And then also the uh, Hulk and MODOK expansions. Here, we got a Hulk here. Yep. So on our website, you'll find the core set <laughs> plus... Uh, individually, Hulk, Modoc, and the Terrain Pack. And then we have subscriptions, actually. A lot of people asking questions about what's coming out when, and that's a, a big thing here, because like if you pre-order even from us... It's a big thing in the industry. Yeah, if you pre-order from us, the core set plus some other stuff that's not coming out yet, we don't ship the core set until everything is out to ship with that thing. Um, but we have subscriptions for everything, so you can sign up for characters, Terrain Packs, and mats, and automatically get everything as it comes out uh, at 20% off and without really having to place pre-orders or pay up front. Uh, and you know when you sign up, you're just getting it as it comes out, and you don't have to wait on everything mm -hmm. to come out for us to ship that all it's, together. We don't, uh, miniatures, the miniatures community might not be as familiar with it. I, we run X-Wing subscriptions for a long time, too, but basically it's like a couple of weeks before a wave of like character packs, for instance, comes out. Two weeks before, we charge you with whatever save payment method you put on file at 20% off of the prices of those character packs bundle them up, ship them to the address that you've uh, put on file for the subscription. And then that continues forever. Um, we'll just continue sending you characters as they come out, or terrain packs as they come out, or mats as they come out. And you can cancel at any time if you want to turn off the spigot, basically. Just go into your account, click cancel, and you're done. There's no charges, fees, monthly anything. It's literally just a pre-order that is consistent, that you don't have to pay for up front, and that always arrives on release day or sometimes the day after. If you're in the U.S. If you're in the U.S., yeah. yeah. Uh, next question is, uh, let me find it. These chats are coming through, so it's making me lose my questions. Do you feel the game accurately and interestingly models the powers of the comic characters? Well, so far, so good. I'd say One that, game in. I think for me, I was playing two characters that are not particularly super. You know, they're, they're rolling <laughs> in there. They're punching. They're slicing. Um, but they felt like they were doing that, right? Crossbones they, felt hardy and, and like Crossbones, you could do a lot of damage. The, the pain thing, that whole thing of like, I'm just in, and then you can load up the big haymaker. It's a very, I like it because it's a very simple, kind of straightforward model. I wasn't using aggressive much because I just didn't see it, but after you get attacked, you can move a small distance toward the attacker. So Crossbones is in there brawling. Baron, looking great. I mean, I charged, I attacked with my sword a lot. I have that Master Swordsman ability I used once. I had Counter-Strike that I love that I used once and that strategic genius. And the thing that kept me from utilizing Baron is I just didn't have enough power. Yep. Um, so it's amazing to kind of, if Baron was loaded up with power as a defensive piece, he would be phenomenal. Because he can counter strike, he can reroll his defenses, he can reroll with Master Swordsman. It's really good on defense, but you find yourself, if you spend it on offense, you don't then have it ready for defense. Yeah, It's amazing. And it, I feel like the probably the most interesting mechanic so far is the power element, mm -hmm. which is you gain one round and then you gain power when you take damage. Mm -hmm. But like these, the health is not big on these characters. So it's a very precious resource that, like you're saying, if you had a bunch of power, Baron Zemo's insane. Yeah. But like getting the power is tough. So I, I'm also hopeful the tactic cards, I'm assuming, are going to let us do some pretty crazy... Like, I, those are, from, I remember from Gen Con, they were saying those are the moments that are designed to feel like the movies. Yeah. Which is like, this is the big... Crazy thing. I even I really like the superpowers not being actions with Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah, like being able to just throw people around and stuff. None of mine are too. Like the haymaker pumps up one of my attacks, yeah. the inured to pain. So let's um, let's cut this stream. We'll come back. Let's add the tactic cards. Let's add the crisis cards. Let's do a full game with like three models. Let's yeah, say. that sounds fun to me. And then um, we'll and be back very shortly. Uh, I also believe, based on Bryce's hand signal over there a little bit ago, that when we come back, we can make the cards bigger on the next stream. Great. So All you right. can actually see the stack cards. When All right. Playing. Well, we'll see you guys then. Thank you uh, so much for joining us. We've got so much more coming for Crisis Protocol. And if you do miss any of this, we'll have it all posted uh, later on. So it'll be there for you. Uh, thanks for watching. And until next time, we'll see you shortly. Yeah, until then. <laughs>